hello hello happy wednesday we are gonna be doing an art stream today welcome welcome i'm your local moon bunny vtuber jerry hope you guys are doing well we are recovering from daylight saving times here in the u.s which means that our stream times are gonna be one hour earlier than usual for those of you guys outside the u.s time zone um that could mean good things that could mean not so good things but who knows i think it's beneficial for a lot of the eu friends we have Hit the mic a little bit back accident, sorry. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Um, earlier in, in the in the chat box, Scallion actually was in the chat calling me smelly. And then Remsurp came in, and then I, I sent that comment out. That's why. But yeah, welcome, welcome. We have here Howdy Ghost, Reno Burrito. I don't smell today, I smell very good. <laughs> Cypher, welcome. Hello, Blue Horizon. Zach, hey, what's up? What's up? ASD is here, welcome. Yo, oh, Phoenix, this is you're probably gonna be the one who benefited the most from the daily saving times, Phoenix. I saw it yesterday, he was deviously early. You're a witness, you didn't defend me in the chat at all. Hi, welcome, welcome, Vega. Lysergic? Is that the name? Hi, welcome, welcome, Froggy, welcome. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. Juetti. <laughs> Juetti. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Oh, nothing, nothing. Um, there's a few few of my viewers in the chat who like to tease me for being smelly. Not that I smell anything, but... I do have the smelly jeans. I just... I don't. I don't for streams at least. Yeah, it's definitely good for Wednesdays. <laughs> yeah, but today we're gonna keep it simple. I had a couple of ideas for the art stream today. I honestly wanted to draw emotes. Or maybe do an illustration. But I kind of just wanted to paint. So that's what we're gonna do today for a bit. There is something I want to test out before we get into the actual stream itself. Let me see if this works or not. Oh, well, I just cut here. <laughs> Can you guys type in like, wow, and then something, something? I want to see if it works for this thing I have set up. For, for context, I set up a virtual Steam Deck to kind of automate a fun feature. But I have no idea what works though, because I never used it for YouTube before. Whoa. Oh, it's not working? Eh, okay, something's not right here. Oh man, I need to fix this then. Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. <laughs> let, me, let me show you guys what should have happened. When you typed in something, it's supposed to have like a text-to-speech, but I need to work on the text-to-speech part. Look what happens here. Wait, does it work? Yeah, that's that was supposed to happen, but um, I guess I gotta work on it some more because I have no idea how it works for YouTube as opposed to like Twitch or something. Um, okay, 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 I'll work on this more. Thank you, thank you for the test. That's all I wanted to <laughs> to, to see for myself. Let me go back here. <laughs> You're probably like, what is Jerry talking about? There was this thing on on Twitter that I saw where the streamer um set up a overlay where when his chat used text to speech it would kind of zoom out and then the the viewers are going to be the streamer i've been kind of tinkering on that idea but i i don't know i'm doing something wrong but i still gotta cook a little bit more oh my god how you tried implementing that i forgot i think i gotta put it in an ice ice box for now because the only way to test some of these youtube redeems is if i'm live on youtube itself I don't want to, to bother you guys too much about it, you know? Alright, so this is the, the initial sketch I have going on here. Let me switch some screens around. There we go. Put this here and then put this here too. Switching this around a little bit. Where's my, where's my, where's my picture? Oh, here it is, here it is. Wait, put this here. I'm trying to move everything around because uh, some of these things are just not in place. Oh well, oh well. That's okay. Ah, Judy. <laughs> but I'm camera shy. You're camera shy? Well, um, you know, it's very interesting because I've had relatives on stream before. I've had Mama Han and also my cousin Tao. Tao, Tao's gonna be busy, so she's not gonna be in our usual stream as much, but she might pop in here and there. Um, but I, I, I think it's fun for me when I go live and I'm in front of an audience and just interacting with you guys through the chat box and everything. 
But not everyone feels comfortable about that, and I kind of forget about them sometimes. Because to me, streaming is a sort of natural day-to-day -day thing for myself. And so, um, I don't feel the effects of it as much. <laughs> yeah, so for this piece, I didn't really have anything going on. I just sketched out an idea, but I didn't really uh, fully flesh it out. So we're just gonna click on stream and see how far we get. Generally, when I do art streams, I don't really get that far, and that's okay. I'd really treat it like a satsudan stream or just chatting stream for, for everyone here. But yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot has happened since um, our missed Sunday stream. It's been kind of... It's been kind of... Uh, it's been interesting. I'll say that. It's a joke, sorry. Oh, so you love the camera, don't you? You love the camera, Zach. Get you on the TV contract or something. Since can you really be camera shy if you're not actually on camera? I actually am on camera. What are you talking about? This is me. You sketch so far? Hey, okay, let me cook. Cause my sketches are just like early iterations. I'm not the greatest in my sketches, and then once I cook, it cooks pretty well. <laughs> I should show you guys some of my early sketch because they're literally just like stick figures that I just put on top of stick figures sometimes. But this one's a little bit more fleshed out than our usual one, so it might be interesting. She's getting cocky with fame. <laughs> I'm just a baby streamer. What is there to fame about? Talking about you? Can you be really scared camera shy if you're not actually on camera? I'll oh, talk about you. Oh, but you are presented as the dairy, the little fluffball right there. Eh, kinda? Kinda. Um, you know, I... I don't think I'm camera shy, but I'm definitely different when I'm not with an audience. And I know that because recently... Recently, I had to record footage for, for a friend's video. And I think I was... I was very reserved. <laughs> I think so, at least. It felt like I was not the same person that I was on stream. I wanted to bring stream jury to the videos that I was recording for my friend, but I could not do that. that that's that's my bad. <laughs> you guys just bring out the, the truest part of me, you know. Hi, Dila. Welcome, welcome. Hi, hi. Since you said the stream would switch to us, never mind, the joke wasn't that good. It's okay, I got you, I got you. I got your joke, don't worry about it, Zach. The subscriber count is rising so fast. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Actually, uh, so sub counts on this channel, right? They don't actually keep the exact number on the channel. It stops counting the exact number after a while. So it'll say like 1.2k or something. So just an estimation. I think like, that's I actually kind of like that. I know some people want the exact number, but I'm not too too picky about the like, subscriber count as much. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, I have to apologize because on on Saturday I made a stupid mistake with my webcam. I normally do uh, Gunpla streams on on a uh, Saturday, but. <sighs> My webcam stand broke because I made a dumb mistake. I, I had ready and everything and I dropped it. I have carpet in my room, but for some godforsaken reason, this thing dropped on the non-carpeted part of my room. The part where my... My, um... My... What's it called? My office chair. Below my office chair is like a hard, plastic, gorilla grade, um... Flat piece of, like, uh, flooring. But then it dropped in that part instead of the carpet, so it, sma it smashed the camera stand holder. So that's why I had to cancel Saturday stream. It sucks because I was getting ready for stream and everything, and at the very last moment, it, it, it just destroyed itself. So I had to buy a new one. I, I bought a new one, came Monday, so we're good for this Saturday's uh, Gunpla stream. <laughs> that never happened to me before, where equipment break on me. Like, wow. Watching your work, Jerry stream is greater than the meanings. Don't do that, Dela. If you're gonna miss some important information, what well, if they say like, um, we're gonna, we're gonna give you guys five thousand dollars right now. You insert the password that we say on the screen, you know, and then you miss it. You gotta make sure you the know, meetings is more important. See, that's one point for subs seems so nice. Plastic mat. Uh, is it called plastic mat? We bought one for fifteen dollars, um, from Staples or something, ten years ago. That was a mess. It was crackling. It was not rolling. And so I was like, yeah, forget about it. So I bought $50 plastic mat at one point. And that's been ongoing for a strong five years. 
man it's it's great when products work as they say they would because you know most products they want to break so you can buy more of it that's what happened with this camera stand by the way this camera stand was 15 dollars many years ago now to bought it again <laughs> The camera stand has like a light attached to it and the light still works but then it just i can't use it i can't use it because the stand attached to it will cost more than to replace the whole thing i i'm excited for this this week's set of stream mainly because um well for one thing we have you know a sponsor to game again we have sales blazer tomorrow and then uh we are starting a new model kit this model kit is insane because this model kit is probably bigger than me <laughs> it has i think it has a motor apparently that's what someone said in the chat but i haven't really confirmed that myself and then um it, it it's so big it's bigger than a high grade gundam so i'm kind of really really excited for that yeah 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 oh what else i got i also have videos in the making i have to edit videos after the stream as well but i last one to spend time with you guys too is two inches tall? No way. It's taller than two inches. It's at least like six inches and maybe 12 feet long. I don't know. It's like a, was it Liger? Liger Zero X? <laughs> I have no idea how, how that can be. It just is. Oh, also, you see on the left side, I put the color palette ahead of time so that I don't have to like go grab my reference and get the color pick and everything. More Gundam, huh? It's not Gundam. It's a. This is Zoe, get it right. Couldn't show heavy doom on to the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will show it on stream on, on that stream specifically. That's where all the, the, the model kit fans are, are located at, right? So I want to make sure everyone gets to see that. Taller than you? Do you know how little that narrows it down? <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that how you see me? You see me that, that short? I will never forget this, Dela. Yo, it's Sketch Jamie. Hello, what's up? What's up, what's up? Wow, new webcam, you look very different with a new camera. Wow. <laughs> it, it has like a... Was it a 3.5 review on Amazon, by the way? Shout out to, to, to the reviewer. It works. I'm surprised like the person complained about it not clamping well. They're complaining, oh, it's not bright enough. But I, I clamped it on my desk and the light was very, very bright. LED and everything and it was really good. Well, let me really fix this a little bit. Whoa. And, uh... Yeah. Your size is a 144 pilot figure. That is so small. <laughs> what do you take me for? What do you take me for? It warms my heart hearing Jerry be picky about the names, names of things. Come a long way from calling mobile suit Gundams. <laughs> Tuh. I hate you. Because you, I knew you were going to be right, but I didn't want you to, to have that moment early on in my um, Gundam fixation career. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every model... Wait. Every Gundam is a model kit, but not every model kit is a Gundam kind of thing. What do you hear in a boomer that calls them ro robot figures? That's okay. That's all good. If you call them Transformer, I think it's a compliment too. <laughs> Not many people agree with that, but oh man, I don't think I ever saw Transformers the same way ever since we did the viewers collectible streams. Because someone in the chat, I think, has these Transformers that are super complex, fully metal and everything, and they transform from the figure to the bot uh, in the car. And it was like, whoa! I never really, really seen like a Transformer do that stuff. And that's because a lot of the expensive Transformer that does all that is bought through third party, I think. And that was my first exposure to that kind of stuff. And I was like, dang, maybe, maybe Transformers are pretty cool. They're not just this, like, Michael Bay directed movies I seen on, on screen as a kid. You know? I love calling Gundam's Transformers. You're gonna, you're gonna get the fandom after you, bro. Don't, don't, don't mess with them. They'll, they'll pay enough to get, like, a whole Gundam working and running and everything. Don't do it. <laughs> We all know everything's either Transformers or Megazord. Oh, well, is that so? I need to... I need to hit up Braverin. I think... I could continue watching more Gundam series, but maybe Braverin should be given a chance. Because it's one of the newer ones for this year. I, no, I need to go back in time. I shouldn't stick to the modern day ones. If I keep sticking to the modern day ones, it might be... 
Might be Jover. I'm actually gonna um, open another window for this so I don't have to keep zooming in out for the color palette. Give me a second. I forgot how to do this. Uh, is it like this? Yeah, it's like this. Alright. Honestly, um, like I said, I never ever finished pieces on stream before, so we might just get to the face and that's it. <laughs> Even with two hours and stuff, it takes me like a full six hours to finish this illustration, I think. Especially since I'm kind of rusty, more or less, nowadays. Howdy. Howdy, Ginja. This is a good time for you, isn't it? To come to the Bang Brave Bang Braverin? Why do they call it that? I, is this so, show as sussy as they make it out to be? I don't know. I don't know at all. Oops. They... They are... <laughs> I always thought the Gundam was just like one one category of shows. And that's just the Gundam itself. I never realized like how many super robot shows there are. Until I started getting more and more into it. Sleepy? Good morning, Remserve. Hello. Oh man, Remserve, you're making it at this hour? Whoa. Whoa, watch out. I feel bad. Um, because I think daylight saving time is such a... Such a terrible thing ever brought upon this world, in my opinion. I say that because I had a fan one time that came into my stream. They're like, oh, Jerry, I miss you. It's been so long since I've seen your streams. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, nice to see you. It's been a long time to see you. Then they said, oh, but Jerry, you know, I used to watch you this hour. What happened? Why'd you stream at this hour now? And they said, I've been streaming at the same hour for for over a year now. What, what are you talking about? Then I realized, like, oh, the saving, daylight saving time was like a thing that people are going through, right? And so, it's been kind of a... <laughs> more or less, like a... A thing I have to make sure I make known that, Oh guys, hey, you know, this is happening, so watch watch your time. It's gonna it's gonna be effective when you view the stream. Mama, maybe. I have one dollar toy robot that goes... Fire, fire! I, I, I'm your butterfly! What? <laughs> Oh, you know, I know what you're talking about because I've seen those toys in flea markets where they go like Fire, fire! <laughs> fire, fire, fire! <laughs> Get down! And then that's it. That same voice line played over and over again on these things. I think it's funny. <laughs> I think it's funny. Uh, because they always use the same, like, sound effects for, like, toys. For, like, every single toy. Uh, when it's, like, made from Asia or something. The... Is that Gundam? Is that Gundam? Am I Gundam? Oh my god, yo. The, the Gundam that was uh, made by... By Vega was super cool. I can't wait to show it on stream uh, on Saturday, but maybe you guys will get to see it earlier. If you're scrolling the Gunpla Ancestries. Gunpla and Figurine chat, my bad. I don't know why I said Ancestries by accident. Even my elder parents know that models I built are from Gundam, so no one gets a pass here. Well, your parents are really... Really on top of things. I say that because I know that... Um, I don't know how to explain Mama Han what a Gundam is. Or why it's called a Gundam, as opposed to other things. <laughs> uh, as daylight saving time suffer, I agree. Suffer, I agree. I hate losing an hour steadily for no reason. Oh man, I do feel like this is the worst one yet. I don't know why, but this daylight saving, um, daylight saving time for us is a lot more vitriolic, or like people are complaining a lot more this time around compared to some of the other years. Or maybe it's just a once a year occurrence thing, and I just noticed it here. Mm, the hour gain from DST is not worth the hour loss. Yeah, I was gonna say, I like kind of the hour gain feeling, but that's only in the winter time. It's the worst. I I like it when it's not. <laughs> when we gain an hour, why don't we lose an hour? You know what happened? Um, during daylight saving times, I was playing some health diver with some friends, and then. They were like, oh yeah, you know, we're gonna play until 12 because they're, you know, they're on the west coast, a group of them. And then I was like, looking at my clock, and it's like, already... Almost 4 a.m. I'm like, um, guys, I gotta go to bed. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not... 
it's been it's been 12 for you guys it turns out that it was like um the like 70 times happen at 1 a.m i think so <laughs> it's funny because just collectively computers will jump the time not at midnight like you would think but actually at uh like 1 or 2 a.m i forgot which one it happened live and i just i, I cried a little bit i saw it happen on my phone and i was just like ah uh, ah uh, why did it happen like this why why did it have to jump the clock on me just as i was looking at it because i was having fun 4 a.m oh my god hey welcome Kia. what's up welcome what's up, what's up? I, i'm night owl like, i would love to work like graveyard shift um if i could but i don't because i have uh a life outside the graveyard ship it's a funny little thing they just actually listen and pay attention when we're talking so they remember these silly little things oh that's really sweet of them um i don't blame mama han if she calls my gundam something else mainly because um english is not her first language neither is the word gundam but you know it, it's easier for her to call it like gundam for everything so i don't want to chastise her for it or correct her on it hi poor genius welcome you enjoying the extra hour daylight though yeah but you don't feel that until you hit the summer right now it's, it's springtime and people feel like the effects of not getting that one hour no uh all it does is make me tired and confused yeah i've been trying to being i try to be more proactive these days to really get my sleep schedule on tap uh on track especially with the time zone change so i've been kind of on top of that no more melatonin or melatonin free no i'm really happy about that uh oh oh your messaging got retracted no it's negative four minus four <laughs> negative four minus four utc i don't really use utc so i, I can't really say uh, on my schedule i actually have gmt but i have no idea if people actually use gmt schedule on that one i had it wrong on the twitter schedule but for youtube and everything i changed it after i noticed my mistake Ooh. Oh yeah, still every suit's Gundam as far as they're concerned, but they get past who's old, you know? Use GMT? Okay, okay, you are the GMT user. We have a few rare GMT users. I have no idea if it's helpful though. It makes sense um, for me to use GMT. Because I looked at some um, VTubers schedule and they put like JP time. But it makes sense though, because a lot of the corporation, the corp of VTubers uses and has like an actual JP audience to cater to. Makes sense, makes sense. No, who the heck uses GMT? People in Europe sometimes will use GMT. I don't know, man. I just like to be thoughtful about it. I've always... I always said that I wanted to cater to people in the EU, mainly because I had a lot of EU friends. Uh, over on Twitch, and they always complain about the 9.30 p.m. EST start time. I don't blame them. It's like basically morning for them when they boot up and everything. You ever gotten JP viewers? Um, I definitely gotten like uh, foreign viewers though. That's been really fun about YouTube because I feel like the stream time that I had originally was only um, bringing in people from the U.S occasionally outside the us but youtube feels like it's very expansive i find uh we have people from like singapore um where else <laughs> i'm saying these countries are just like they're amazing or cool but because they are to me but they're probably like hey we just live here man we have people from like singapore indonesia indonesia and philippines are actually surprisingly a large chunk of my audience um yeah so that's really cool i didn't think that was like uh, a thing I would have, but I see why maybe um, VTubers have like a really strong fandom base there. <laughs> yeah, Ramsey over there smiling. They know what's up. <laughs> Actually, a lot of um, I notice a lot of the Indonesian and uh, Malaysian viewers tend to be really proactive um, in the chat, or sometimes they enjoy the Discord server. I think recently 
Pare. Pare Sama, he did the fan art for the rabbit hole um, piece for, for me. And he was like in the VC call drawing art and stuff. And I was like, what the heck? <laughs> We just, I, you just met me and you made fan art for me? How could you be so nice to me like that? Is that the language barrier? There's no language barrier. I don't actually experience language barrier all that much, actually. I will say though, if um if I speak too fast, you know, they'll, they'll let me know. I'm both quiet and a pro yapper. When you're given the chance, you will yap. Nothing wrong with that. You are a very selective yapper. It's so funny, um, we, we, we don't use the term yap at all in the stream until like one day we started using it just for no reason other than to make fun of ourselves for talking too much on the stream. The... Actually, I could start probably doing the hair in this one. Oh yeah, what did I, what did I put on the stream title? Did I put like... Snoop about webcam. Webcam's already covered, I mentioned that already. Oh yeah, um... So, as you know, I think this is gonna be a funny story, uh, but I'll try my best to explain it the way I can. 24, 2024 year to yap. Man, last year was the year to rabbit. Those are, those are some fun times. Mm, okay. Uh, so, Papa Han, you know, he, he makes mochi back on the moon and stuff. He does a little bit of business here. And um, one of the rules is that you have to unleash your ingredients on your boxes when you ship them out, right? So he made me do some uh, secretary work for his company for a time <laughs> for this past week. And um, his box does not have the properly listed ingredient. And then you know what? He came into my room, busted open the door and he said, Jerry, remember that the label printmaker we got from the one guy? And I was like, what are you talking about? Then I remembered. Back then, 10 years ago, Papa Han became acquainted with someone who sells cell phone um, cell phone case covers for iPhone 6, iPhone 5, so that's how long ago it was. And um, apparently this guy was having trouble shipping on time and stuff. People were complaining about long shipping times. So Papa Han was like, okay, I'll volunteer to be like a shipping center. So this guy, you know, was super rich. He sent us two boxes of iPhone 5 phone cases and he also sent us a label maker and stuff to print out shipping labels. So I, I was like, okay, okay, um... But even though we got this, we never got any more information from the guide. So we were just like, what the heck? We just got all this free stuff, but we don't know what to do with it. So at some point, the phone case themselves became phased out and we're left with this random label maker. Anyways... <laughs> label maker came in clutch today because Papa Han was getting inspected by the... Um, food inspector person, he needs to pr the correct ingredient on the box. So, he told me to print out the ingredients and then slap it on side of the box. So that's what I did for a good while, one of the days uh, I was away. And I was just like... Damn, this random... Dads love it when they have these random stuff stored for like... Decades at a time. And then one day when you really need it, they'll pop out and be like... See, I told you this would be useful. I don't blame him. He was right. <laughs> It, he was right about that. It was useful to him, at least, in that time. No way, Jerry drawing stream, Paul. I don't know how it's gonna be, but, uh... Drowsy. Welcome, welcome. This is a time for zone for you, isn't it? It's been a long time since I've done a drawing stream, because I've been so, like... Up the wazoo with all types of stuff. Besides drawing on stream. Does he make it gluten-free? That was the thing, poor genius! He need to list, like... Uh... He accidentally listed something being gluten or something, but he doesn't have gluten there, so we have to take it out. That's so funny. Secretary, a rabbit many hats. Man, I just I just know how to use the program and stuff. Like, I don't know how to... I wish I could be like a rabbit many hats, but literally it's just downloading the printer label program, the driver for it, and then making everything with it. Alright, I'm gonna dip a bit. Hunger man, I'll be back soon. Okay. See you, see you soon, Kinja. It's free stuff because it's counterfeit. No, it's not counterfeit. It's, it's real stuff. Anyways. Uh, that was interesting. Then I was like, man, this label print is pretty cool. Because it printed out really, really fast. It uses heat, not ink. So, <laughs> Mama Han asked me to print out um, sugar, salt, and cinnamon or something. Or cornstarch. So that she had labels for her, her, uh, her, her spice jar. 
So I did that. And then I was like, you know, what do I print a picture out? So I printed a picture of my of my profile picture on, on YouTube. And I was like, okay, so this didn't really work out too well. Because, you know, because it's like thermal printing or something, it doesn't have ink in it. So when I print out my picture, it was pretty bad. It was not like it was black and white, probably looks better, but it has some grayscaling. And the grayscaling wasn't that um diverse, I think. It wasn't as Good compared to like if I just did black and white, so that's pretty cool. I wanted to have fun with that, and that was my experiment. Man, it's great when you don't have to pay for ink, you know. I think that's what's so cool about label makers. <laughs> I'm tired of buying ink. I ran out ink trying to print out something for Papa Hun. I knew I didn't have enough ink because I haven't used a printer in years, and recently he asked me to print out a a letter to like another place to distribute his mochi and it was like uh okay okay i'll do it and i did it for him then i said dad you gotta double check to make sure everything here is correct because i don't have enough ink i only have enough ink for two pieces of paper and that's it he was like okay yeah 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 he checked it oh he skimmed it i printed out then he told me uh dude you the, the the phone number is wrong can you correct this i was like i told you to double check it and so i go and double check the the telephone number right in, um, right in the correct one. And then we go print it out and you know what happened? It said there's no more magenta. I ran out of magenta because I told you there wasn't any more ink. You don't listen. I feel like... I don't know if it's like a dad thing or maybe it's a guy thing. But he's not as detail oriented as Mama Han. Mama Han would have been on that. She would have been seeing that from a mile away before it even happens kind of thing. How could that be? Huh? It's 7 p.m. in Europe? Oh man, that's so nice. I love 7 p.m. streams. Those are my favorite stream times. Not that I can host that myself, but it is a stream time of nonetheless. Printed early art curse objects? <laughs> do, do, um... Do people actually... Use printer often? I used to use it a lot for school, but now that I'm not really in school, it's been kind of just sitting there collecting dust. Now you gotta buy old printers that don't scam you as much. Oh, the old printers would literally be black and white in color. This one, I have to buy black. And then CMYK. It's not as expensive because each CMYK is about $10 per, per, per printer stuff. So. Yeah, your dad got a dermal printer just like those receipt printers. Just don't leave your dermal paper in the sunlight. We're leaving that in the sunlight to bake, bro. We're gonna print out like a happy face or something with the... I'm wondering why, like, I'm coloring, um... Outside the line and everything on top of the sketch. It's because it's gonna be covered up anyways. So that's why I'm not too concerned about the skin spilling out. Because it's the furthest back layer, so I'm not worried about that at all. What I am worried about, though, is that... I may not have the proper color for this. The thing we deal with for the sake of parents, but say mom is much more detail oriented compared to my dad. I don't know why. Are you detail oriented? You think you got your mom's detail orientedness? I wonder if I'm detail oriented. Well, I don't know what's considered detail oriented because there are things that I miss that she would pick up on. <laughs> I don't think I'm detail oriented. I'm more like hastily detail oriented. She's she's a slow detail oriented. The one you actually want to pick up on the minor mistakes. Speaking of printers, well, inkjets, I found a cousin printer. He just said, take it, so I did. Ah, uh, honestly, printers are kind of out of phase, phase out because of, like, email and stuff. And anything you need to print, you can just print it at, like, uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it called? Staples. Yeah, I haven't been to Staples in a while. Forgive me. It's been a long while in these parts. Now, nah, both my parents got big for Marines. Oh, they're probably just hard to learn it's harder to teach them as they get older and older i hope that i'm not like them when i'm older though because um every time my mom's like you're you my password for this i'm like i don't know just go through your email and just say forget the password and then she'll do it <laughs> i should buy them a password book but i think she's gonna lose that password book before she even gets to use it full full year password book scares me someone in um Someone in the server said 
oh you know i forgot my password and someone said oh i use a password manager you know that's like a reasonable thing to do right well someone said oh i just use a pencil and paper <laughs> what what you know what happened to mr beast his laptop got stolen it had like bitcoin or something on there for like 10k they were they didn't read the bitcoin password thing and just stole the laptop stuff so he just pulled out but anyway that's besides the point I'm too distracted for details. No, I feel like you are detail oriented, Vega, based on your, on based on the stuff you build. I feel like you are. Why wouldn't you be? I found there's a printer firmware mode to run chipless refillable ink cartridge, and the European love the printer to point that there's a whole culture. I don't actually know that. I don't think printers are as common culturally, globally, in general. Because now everything's just email and fax, right? Well, I want to see a fax. I never seen a fax machine ever be used. In my entire life, I never seen it, guys. I I low key want to see a fax be used at one of those offices, but I'm always there and the fax never happens to be in use when I'm there. Like doctor's office and things. Oh it seems cool. It's like email, but like physical email, you know? You just <laughs> instead of sending them a digital a digital thing, you um send them a whole other thing. I forgot which layer I put it on. Real. Real. Use pen and paper? Oh god. You just hope that A, your house doesn't burn down, B, you don't misplace it, and C, it doesn't go to the wrong hands. There's just too many things wrong with that. Password manager! The only thing that can go wrong is you forget the one password to your password manager. <laughs> Lately, my own email has been sort of in my password manager. Because if I'm signing up for sites, I try to use like a system of stuff. But then I forget what system I used. Whether it's the name of like a show or something or other. And then I have to go to my email to be like, yes, I forgot my password. Please reset it kind of thing. I use it way too often, I feel like nowadays more so than before. Because now I'm more cognizant of not trying to... We use the same password for stuff and trying to be more unique with it. Everyone wants to talk nice about the parents, but they don't talk about the annoying things. Yeah, because this is something you that's part of love, bro. You gotta accept the parts of them that I mean you have to kinda grow to to like kinda tolerate in some aspect. I love my parents, Froggy. I don't want to think about like the annoying parts of them, because that's just like who they are. Things that you do for me kind of overlooks everything that may people might find annoying. You need to be this. You need to respect your parents more, Froggy. You need to do raised you. I'm still rocking my ancient Canon MP240. Can run an empty ink cartridge, but cartridge is also the ink nozzle. Every time I hand refill it, the nozzle somehow goes bad. Man, just just replace it. Printers make so much money not because of printers themselves, but because of the ink they have to replace it with. Hi, welcome. Toshi, Toshi Dochi channel. Oh, are you a VTuber too? Actually, that's a, that's a new, t that's a <laughs> first time I've seen a name like that. Good thing about password booklet is that I can use the whole goofy misspelled nonsensical sentence, no problem. No. No, don't do that. Ah, you know, one thing is that I do use the same password for games though. Because my logic is like, Oh, you know, if my game accounts get hacked in across all games, that's a good sign. And that means I shouldn't be playing games. So I'm kind of okay doing that sort of thing. But in terms of everything else, I try to be more cognizant of using unique passwords for it. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a double standard or that's like um, just just bad habit in general too. Shopping, financial constitutions, um, tax service sites. I use like unique passwords for those. But for games, it's like... Eh, if I get hacked on this one account, please take my Overwatch account with it too, or, or my Valorant account. I don't mind. Storing passwords on pen and paper, you better not live in a place prone to natural disasters, as all I can say. Cloud safe password storage is the way. You better not live in Florida with this with the pen and paper password manager. <laughs> uh wanna be one, but I kinda gave up halfway. What? You gave up halfway. What? How do you how do you stop halfway? What? I guess like if you have 
the preparation work but then once you get to the stream part you might feel it's daunting or something right i can see it being maybe stop there uh, although i still record down my parents password especially moms because most of the time they don't know how to navigate the dashboard at the login it's been kind of tough um dealing with my parents as the years go by with technology she because my parents my mom especially she's always like um oh you know jerry i'm getting old now i'm like so you know what you know what you mean you know what you're talking about right now my parent why do i say my parent <laughs> my friend's parent her parents are old and they're managing multi-billion dollar business what do you think they do they manage their own password and everything accounting too <laughs> like i i being old is not an excuse to not learn new things. That's all I can really say. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I'm not old, so I can't really say maybe the brain structure is different at that age. But it's like, please, just just don't 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 do this to me. What if I move out one day? Then what? Who's gonna manage your password and print out your label? I'll do my best over the phone, but I can only help so much. Only so much. What about the love and deep space account? What about Raphael? Uh, that's okay. I'm okay if they give if they try to hack that account too. I I, I think it for the memory and um, yeah, you know I can always just make a new one. It's all good. I think that's the that's how you think about things. Things are just things are not forever, and that's okay too. You, you just enjoy it for the moment they are available to you. In that's all. That is all. Why? Why would I be friend like panicking about that kind of thing? Oh, it's also a free to play player, so I can't really say anything. <laughs> oh, don't use LastPass. They got hacked once and got access to people's login. It's encrypted, but some dedicated people brute force to crack it. Oh, I don't know. I don't recommend anything because I don't have experience with that. I just remember my password. But now I think maybe I should start doing some things about that. I say that because um. Interestingly, on Apple, and I think maybe Android does it too. On Apple, you can just uh, make a new password. And they're pretty cool with that. Like, they'll suggest you a password to use for it. M bro, I don't know where my layers are. My layers are, are a mess right now. I'm just, I'm gonna combine them all. So surely it's not gonna, I can just paint over if I make a mistake. I'll move this a little bit down. No point trying to teach if they can't retain it. Um, I don't think they can't retain it. It's more so they don't want to retain it, you know? It's like forcing someone to go to school when they don't want to go to school. It's that kind of thing. They just don't want to be responsible for their own stuff. Everything's online now when they're, when they're used to things not being online as much. Even like banking institutions are being online now. Yeah, I was streaming and content creating that was daunting and I think I kind of lost my mind when I broke my PC. Oh, that, that's rough. Especially when you don't have like a backup system for for your model and stuff. Oh my god. I was so worried about that kind of thing happen, so I made sure to back it up and everything into two different accounts on my Google account. <laughs> you guys store your password? I use one password. No, Toshi, no! What are you gonna do if someone hacks your stuff? I used to be like you, Toshi, you know, I used pa one password for everything at one point. But then I thought, man... Because my logic was that, oh, you know, if they hack my account and they have access to everything I, I ever own, I can just change the password for things that actually matter, you know, and actually prioritize that way. So that's how I thought about it at first, but then over time, I started thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should really uh, get an actual working <laughs> working thing for it. I wonder how this is. I don't. I don't. I haven't used some of these brushes in a long while. Last pass exception, lazy security. Damn, you're on top of this blue. You're in the same mindset as um poor genies on this. Raphael and I, and I are saddened by your response. Hey, that's how you felt about your your 
Discord account, right? Hoshi, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you, thank you. Um. Oh, hi, Holland. What's, what's up, what's up? One password over the mall is so convenient. It really is convenient, but please don't do that. Please don't do that. You're setting yourself up for security failure. I just make the password impossible to remember and guess and reset it every time. Please, but effective for security. Me too. Me too, Ghost. That's been my go-to security method. Making such a complicated password and having to go to my email. I think if I lose my email, that's when it's game over. Generally, anything that Google touches tend to be very secure, so I'm not too concerned about that. Who use password software? I'd memorize and use a two-step. <laughs> I'm more or less remem uh, memorized, but for more and more things I'm setting up for, I tend to use more uh, unique stuff for it. Yo, wait the why is that okay? What the what the what the what the <laughs> I keep the variant between two three passwords. The moment I change to something else, I forget immediately. So I feel one password. You make in childhood will carry with on with you until your next one. Then they coexist into the same accounts and stuff, right? I got scared because my country role got hacked, but that was a trigger to change my passes. Oh my god, really? A country role account of all things? What do you get out of country? I guess if you have a, a um, if you have stuff already stored on there, right? Like your credit card. I make sure not to store my credit card in any places. When they say, hey, you want to store your credit card on Steam? No, 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 never. That will be beneficial. Wait, what? That will be beneficial to my wallet and to my sanity. Oh, did I do this correctly? I did this correctly. Okay. We live in digital age. Yeah. We do live in digital age. Our parents, though, it's kind of hard for them to move as fast as the digital uh, age. Well, I wouldn't say it's the same password per se, but it's variants, so it's easy to remember without storing it somewhere. Uh, well, I used to do this thing where I do DDR with my password. <laughs> I used to do DDR with my password. Uh, find a position on the keyboard and start doing a dance, D dance DDR password thing. That, I stopped doing that though as a kid because it got too really, really, really hard to remember these things. When I lost my model, I kind of just gave up because it took me a week to make it. Didn't want to start again. I feel you on that. Hi, Jade. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Oh, man. Model making is so long. It's also kind of um, time consuming too. And so it's hard to do it again. Unless there's some sort of gain at the end of it. Immediate gain. Immediate, immediate gain. Oh, these. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. Can I put this in here? I don't know. It's, oh, it does show through. Okay. My country role has the same password as some very vulnerable account of mine, so that was why. Huh? I don't care about the country itself. No, his anime is gonna be seen by some pirate online, <laughs> some hacker online. Like, I'm not gonna pay for country roll. I'm gonna make this guy pay for country roll kind of kind of mindset, eh? I should probably move this one out too. Hold up. Oh no. Never got hacked, even when there were leaks from companies. Gotta have nothing of value, that's what it's all about. I don't think I ever got ha uh, No, I never got hacked before either. Not that I want to challenge that, anyone who's listening, please don't challenge that. Please do not challenge what I'm about to say. I never got hacked, except for MapleStory, but I didn't get hacked per se. I just told the person my password because I got scammed and I was a very... I was a very impressionable kid at the time. I didn't really have anything invaluable in that account, so... I wasn't farming for for like a um a Zakum helmet or anything. They just got <laughs> I didn't have anything for it at all. Hope they enjoy the random ten year old account they just stole. 
they stole from me and they don't know what I'm incapable of. Just nothing, by the way. But I feel like that would be impossible to remember. It's less like the actual um, words themselves, Cypher. It was like the position of where the keyboard is and just have fun with that. That's basically what I used to do as a kid. My Gmail hacked once. They immediately got access to my YouTube, Twitter, and everything. I realized it because I noticed YouTube history that I didn't recognize. Eh, yo, that's so gross. Are you sure? It's it's not like some family got into your computer and they started using it. It was easiest platform too on Vivert Studio. Oh really? Wait, I thought Vivert had his own cloud system for storage. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I just noticed you haven't flipped your canvas yet. Okay, <laughs> I'm too scared. Because I already know, um, I already know what's gonna happen. I do most of my best stuff off stream, that's why I don't do it on stream. I know already. I'm gonna cry. I'm too cognizant of, of what's about to happen here. The, the, the fear of what looks like flipped will get to me. But don't worry about it, because, um, I will eventually. Just not right now. <laughs> not right now. My mental is not ready for that. Oh, Nedu, welcome, welcome. You gave someone your password? Yeah, I did. In MapleStore, I gave someone my password because they're like, oh, we'll give. <laughs> they're... It's so dumb. I remember this because it's such a core memory. It was my first time doing something bad, per se. Um, In MapleStore, someone wanted to see something, so I gave it to them. Then they're like, oh, I'm not going to give it back unless you give me your password kind of thing. I was very desperate because I thought it was a worth worthwhile item, so I gave them my login and everything. And then, um,. I was sad about it. I told Big Bro, like, oh, someone hacked my account. I knew they scammed me, but I didn't want to say, they hacked my account. He's like, all right, so we're not going to do it again. And so he made a new one for me, and then that's how that's how it all worked out. <laughs> ah, I'm such an idiot as a kid. What are you doing, Jerry? Where's your, where's your online sense login? Luckily, no one asked me, like, my address, because I was smart enough not to do something like that. See, I, I, I was I was a kid like that once. We were all kids once at the point. Wait, I need to use like a milli pen because it's, it's so hard to do with this. But you're back hacking Jerry. No, bro. Blue Horizon, more like Blue Hacker. Get out. What's Jerry password again? I don't remember. <laughs> Rewrite does by the time I didn't have cloud save on. Damn, okay, maybe that <laughs> Loki was kind of wonderful, huh? They have these safe lock in place and you destroyed the one safe lock they had. Now he also got my Genshin account and sells someone in Chinese. I got a back though. Feels bad to someone who spent on my account, but mine in the first place. Oh my god. That's scary. That's crazy. I wonder how much my Genshin account would be with you right now if I sold it. Probably not a lot, but this peak probably would be. Some pretty darn good characters, okay? No, don't don't add me on this. I have some pretty good darn characters. I basically had every character banner up until a certain point because my luck was just immense in that game. Can I get a print? You want to get a print? Print of what? Oh, I don't have any print, Jade. <laughs> I don't have any merch or print for the matter. But uh, thank you for asking, though. Hi, Tan. Oh, no, see. How are you? Welcome, welcome. History repeats itself. I remember my first time getting scammed $150 as a teen in CSGO. I wanted to bury my head and cry. How do you have $150 as a teen? That's the first thing. Okay, because I knew my parents. They were on my butt about my spending. Well, they weren't really on my butt about it, but um, my parents back then didn't give me allowance. They were like, hey, you know, if you need anything, just let me know and we'll buy it for you. If we and normally, I would say 99% of the time when I asked them to buy something, they would buy it for me. The only time they didn't was when they didn't have the, the funds for it. So I... I feel like that kind of helped me kind of be more cognizant of my spending as an adult too. I know that some people think that giving your kid an allowance would teach them uh, money literacy, like literacy of sorts. Uh, maybe it does. 
I think it does. Oh, just not the way I did it <laughs> as a kid. <laughs> I didn't do that as a kid. I remember... Oh, wait. I'm glad to be able... Learning to draw from Jerry Sensei. Oh, no. If I want to teach you drawing, I have to do like a proper thing for it. Right now, I'm just like painting for fun. Like, I don't really have anything planned. If I did, I probably... Probably would have like references and stuff open. Blue Hacker Channel Catchy. You think you'll change my content up? <laughs> Hacking random VTubers? Damn. What do you have against us, huh? What do you have, what do you have against our kind? What do you got going? What vendetta do you got? I'm getting PTSD from Genshin. Oh man, I only have good memories about Genshin. Thinking back on it, I remember how fun it was when there was co-op for Lantern Revent and you had to play like Tower Defense. That was really fun. Uh, man, that was so long ago too. I I would kind of kill just to have like a Genshin 2.0 but like not be Genshin, you know? <laughs> Some game that takes like the the anime fandom by chokehold. I think it'd be fun to have that. As for the hundred fifty dollar, I worked at grocery store as a teen for a bit and was very spend happy in my first job. I was not spend happy. I I think, I think my early upbringings here on Earth are kind of. I won't say scarring, but it definitely made me more uh, frugal. Yeah. I don't know, man. I kind of enjoy being frugal. Because <laughs> when I think about it, I don't really like buying stuff that costs a lot. It don't feel good to me. I say that in response to like... <laughs> this one bingo card in the server. I'll explain it in a bit, but... Give me, give me a moment on this. Let me gather my thoughts. Layer check. Oh, it's, it's over for genius. I just combined all my layers because I got really confused. For your back, a job offers. Oh, yo, get the back for genius. Gonna. Never bought gems. Just a five dollar pass once in a while. Yeah, I always bought the pass. Never bought gems outright because I always got the character I wanted. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Lady Luck is smiling on my Genshin account. Oops. I played Genshin because I was stuck at home. It was my first gacha game experience and got sucked in so hard. It was not my first gacha game, but it was the most immersive one I felt. Um, because most gacha games for me at that point were... were phone games, right? So they're very limited in the way they played. But I love gacha games. I know people are like, gacha game is, is bad for you. I'm always a very healthy... I'm Seaver. Healthy free-to-play player. Gacha games hate me because I don't spend anything on their stuff. Most of the time. Sometimes maybe, but most of the time not really. <laughs> uh, man, I... It's great. It's great being a free-to-play player. There's, there's the fun of like, oh, will I get it? Will I not get it? And you don't have to worry about it. Because it'll come back next time in the banner rotation. There's so many resinless activity I'm not proud of. Oh, resinless activities? What? Is that a terminology to use now for Genshin? Bro, I spent so much money this month, I'm not even done yet. Eh? Much, so much money on, on games? I don't blame you though, there's so much good games right now. Who is that cute girl on the skin? <laughs> it's, it's, it's me, but not really because I forgot how to draw. I draw more technically than I do when I paint though. When I do stuff for client, it's less free flowing, it's more rigid. For, for me at least. I feel like I'm having trouble because I haven't used some of these brushes in a long while. Marker? Maybe I can use marker brush. Uh I should draw in the shadows here and then we can draw in the light after. Maybe?
Mm, frugality is really fun and great. I don't enjoy spending, but I'm also saving up for big life purchase. Maybe I'm biased at the moment. The biggest purchase I made is probably... Well, I thought it was a VR head quest. But then recently, my adulthood crushed that with a luxury bag. But I'm not the type of person to wear Gucci or or Calvin Klein or anything like that. Or anything brand name or Louis Vuitton. I just wanted one big, big girl purchase. And so I bought a nice MK bag at one point. <laughs> I'm laughing because um, recently in the server, we actually had a bingo board about... Um, whether or not we're consumers of things so there's stuff like luxury item a collection that costs 1k plus um figurine collections or having a stanley cup mug or something or buying food every week at restaurants there was a bingo board for that and i think i was the only one who checked off a luxury item 500 dollars plus but uh, to be fair it was on sale but it looked pretty but it was like used to be 500 but now it's not on 500 anymore they bought that bag <laughs> with my with my big girl money so um i think there's some uses to to having luxury brand stuff not all the time though couldn't be me couldn't be me i could not be caught with that luxury bag i told i sent a picture for it because i was really happy about my first purchase but i remember damn i'm a vtuber i gotta make sure my my covers are are, are like covered up and everything and so i deleted it and they're like why'd you delete it and they said I don't want to be at a convention and then you guys catch me because I have the bag mentioned here and pictured here for you to find me with. <laughs> and the whole server made a joke about uh, the day that Jerry gets doxxed because of her $500 luxury bag. It's the funniest day. It would be the most hilarious thing ever. So, uh, yeah. Delete the luxury bag picture, but it's so funny. That'll be the only bag I have though. I don't think I could have like 50 bags like some people do. That's too too dark in the liner right there. Uh you ain't playing Genshin on your phone? I, I did not. I played on my PC. But I know if my, my cousin played it on her phone. Someone actually blue stacked Genshin because they thought it was a mobile app. I mean it kinda is, but but still. Still, not really. Not just in general on the ton of stuff. Hey man, you gotta buy things that make you happy and get you through the month. You see this piece here? Okay. Should be simple somewhat for this. Um, that's why my first gacha experience is the first one that ran on PC. They didn't have that clunky keyboard control. Most most gacha games on mobile are more touch-based, right? You don't really need controllers. I'm surprised people actually play Genshin on their phone because it's very much akin to playing on the Switch device or something. Or even then, um, most gacha games are visual novels or something simple like power defense, some sort of mechanic. Designer bags, only time I've gotten any sort of expensive, but G-Shock watch as a gift. Bro, well, I, I think... I don't know, there was something really, like, affirming about one, buying one luxury bag for myself. Maybe, or maybe because I'm a female. <laughs> or maybe I'm a female with spending needs, but it was really nice. I don't spend... I don't spoil myself all that often like that. It was just a one time. And it was fun. <laughs> I don't regret it. I don't regret it. Leave me alone about my spending habits. Cause you probably are right, but leave me alone. You're right. But you don't need to chastise me for it. Uh, opinions on the Genshin Impact Special Edition One Plus poems? Those are good. I wish Apple did collaborations like that but it's just apple that doesn't do that i think collaborations are beneficial to both the parties hmm always nice to have a few expensive things in your wardrobe but i still want a fancy accessory like a wash to wear on special occasion i don't know man a nice wash will upgrade your outfit in my opinion don't get like the digital watch get like the 
old fashioned mechanical watch. Those look so, so, so nice. There's this one manga I read for a male fashion because I was really curious what they would teach in there. Because I'm curious about um, how to design and draw males and stuff. And they talked about how they take this character, he doesn't know how to be fashionable, and then throughout the series, he does get fashionable. And they talk about how the three main points you want to con you want to um, draw points to, or maybe kind of accessorize, is the neck, wrists, and ankles. And during the summertime, when you wear a t-shirt, your arms look really bare. So what people would do would put a, they would buy a watch to kind of make it less bare, you know. And so that's like um, a really cool manga I read. I forgot what it was called. Was it like, if you want to dress nice, do this or something? Very, very straightforward. Hi, Dr. Fun. You ain't even real doctor, probably. What are you doing around here? Gah, I'm back from making a drink. I'm confused to which Jerry is talking. I'm staring at Mildred for five seconds while realizing it. Yeah, you're funny. You're funny for that one. I kind of wanted just to see what it's like to paint again. Because <laughs> I've been doing line art stuff um, elsewhere. Hi, hi. Welcome back in the... Uh, I went back. Oh yeah, true mechanical for me. I say that, but then I'm an owner. <laughs> I was given an Apple Watch um, for for a gift once, because I was like, "Oh man, I really need to like get on track with my health and stuff." And so, I think Apple Watch looks. Well, how do I think about those kind of watches? Hmm. Hmm. I think those watches are actually really functional. Because I remember being on on the job and in the healthcare field, a lot of nurses would actually have those kind of watches. They would have their pictures of their families or something, they would have their time, the weather. And when you're inside like a building for so long, it's nice to kind of have that on the, the have the information readily available, kind of like that. I just wear the watch the time, I don't really care what people think of me on the streets. Yeah, you can do that, but I think that for me at least, I feel like I don't know. I just feel happy having a nice item to to wear and stuff. It's like buying something that represents a part of yourself, or kind of elevating your your sense of self or something. You don't have to have it. Some people can do it out. I just have it because I think it's so 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 nice. Maybe I can try. Uh, you can try. Washing this around, maybe? Do I have it? I do have a fold brush. I guess you're still sleepy. Get up, Rimsurf. Get up, walk around, have fun. Don't get stuck in one place all the time. You gotta you gotta move around and everything, man. You know, you can't stay in place like that. You will you will be sleepier. I actually had to get up and um, exercise on the treadmill earlier for stream because I was still feeling the effects of the time change here. So I've been doing that every morning since then. I do admit for a self proclaim I forgot how to art artist is looking cute so far. You want to see what I finished recently though? <laughs> recently, I finished recording um, a video that I've been like kind of uh, keeping in the back burner. But since I have people keeping me accountable, I just finished it. I can show it to you guys on stream here. Because if you really want it, you know, you can have it for yourself. <laughs> Let me see. Did I have it here? Oh my god, this is this took me so long, but I'm recording a video right now. This is when I give it to a friend, I give it to a few friends to, to test it out and everything. And they're saying, yo, this is high quality and stuff. Models made for person use only. I oh yeah, I put up Discord there because the last time from my first YouTube video, I told people, hey, message me on Twitter or on Discord. They did that. They actually messaged me on Twitter on Discord. I had to shut it down. <laughs> or at least encourage them to go to Discord to message me there instead. Yeah, look at this. It doesn't look like much, but when you zoom in here, it's really, really clean. Yeah, I saw my email. The model is free. Hey! Oh yes, it's free because I was testing it out. I didn't know that people would buy it. Oh yeah, I gotta move this out. Look at that. So, so many. Oh 
Oh, did I do it? I think I did something wrong. Oh no, I did something wrong. I accidentally left the line art here, huh? Hold on, I actually gotta <laughs> update my, my files on that site. I'll do it after stream. I think only that one though. No, don't look at it. Not how it's supposed to be. But yeah, you can uh you can play around with the model, see how arts are separated for these things. You know, if you want to learn how to draw a VTuber model. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Took a long time. Anyways, that was fun. But I want to just mess around and stop being so like exact with everything in this one. Cause this one has line art and I don't like coloring within the lines. It does make stuff look good, but uh uh Not Rolex. Oh, Rolex is a bit much, in my opinion. Hey, who's this? Oh, she, she's she's no one. She's just a learning material. Um, so I'm giving her uh, away for free to, to some people. If you got that, if you got that Ko-Fi, it's for free or it's ten dollars just for the files. But most people who are gonna buy this are probably gonna be people trying to learn how to separate their art. I didn't think you sent out an email though. I'm kind of embarrassed about that. <laughs> that was supposed to be like a good random test for, for me to, to do stuff with. Se Secret Dirt of Viscard's sister. Man, you know what? I, d I drew her before before Fumoko was a thing. And I realized as they debut, I was thinking, oh man, they look pretty similar. I gotta like change it up a little bit. Does she have long hair, Barrett? No, she doesn't. I don't know if I have a long hair, Barrett. I mean, I should though, shouldn't I? Blah. Okay, let me just toss in some more colors. I realize like I'm taking way too long on this, but it's been kind of the thing with, with art streams. <gasps> no, that's the wrong color. No, it's not I don't really need it. I know you don't need it, but I didn't know that people who follow me on Kofa can see that stuff. I already died. I saw it already. I was like, oh, I gotta fix this. So I gotta do the after stream. I even write a note to myself. Actually, no, I'm not gonna write a note to myself. It might take forever. What a profit. Cover still your design, Sue. <laughs> I, I don't blame them, you know. It's it's a very common design to have like oversized jacket and whatnot. And then maybe like like doggo ears or something. Just accidents happen like that. And all good. All good. <laughs> Uh, it's all right. Things happen in the in the art community like that, where characters look like other characters. Man, recently that one rabbit hole MV, someone drew my character in that one. I was thinking, man, it kind of do look similar. Every time I see it now, I think of my character, of myself in there. Oh, you know, cover is expanding to the U.S. Now, I think that people in the U.S. can have faster shipping time. And also be not be hit with such expensive shipping in the first place. But I don't get it. Why is it so expensive to ship from, like, Japan versus, like, maybe China or something? Oh god, it took forever. It took forever to ship from, from China, but I finally got my screen protector and everything. Yeah, in fact, Gara might just release entire 1.5 view song on using your 12-year-old name so you can't research. Oh yeah, yeah. Another coincidence is that um Blue Horizon here. He has a name he had a name Blue Horizon for a long time, but then coincidentally Gara released a really really popular song under the sim same name. I can't even say similar because it's just exactly the same name. So now he's forever hard to find. No. But you don't stick to it. <laughs> stick to it. Don't let that get to you. Because you like the name, you know. Then just, just run with it. I, I accidentally became the name of the character in Street Fighter, you know. And people have come in asking me all the time, like, Hey, are you after named after her? No. No, I'm not. I didn't know who she was until recently because I was a Tekken girl for the longest time. If I knew that, I probably would not have gone with the name I did. It's just that uh, the name... The last name Han. Well, Jerry is non-negotiable, but the last name Han, you know... That's my family name. It's, it's like a name I've always had in, for, for my eternity. 
can't do that to me. The busy person the hour game? Eh? Oh, hi, Tao. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Tao, are you starting... Are you starting the... The work time yet, or what? What's going on with that? I take pride in the niche? Yeah, I'll stick with it. Stick with it. Can you imagine Joe Bob not being Joe Bob, though? Hello, Joe Bob. Yo, Joe Bob, you know, Holland was here earlier than you were. I thought Holland's here for, for Joe Bob. Turns out Holland's his own person. <laughs> Someone say Tekken? Oh man, I want to play more Tekken. I really want to get good at it. But God, there's just so much. There's so much going on right now. Right now, my comfort game when things get too hard is, is, is literally Helldiver. Just shoot and not worry about anything else. I have to somehow uh, create this here. The fast my item came from China's like been over two weeks. I think two weeks was like the fastest ever came. But other than that, maybe Amazon's been kind of spoiling me. I haven't had Prime in a long while though. Blue try not try to tell me not to be Joe Bob. Yo. It's hard, man. The hardest part is that this is what something your 12-year-old self made, you know. You thought you were original back then? You were not original. But let's settle that matter right now. You weren't original back then. <laughs> At 12. Hmm? Oh, that's what I was like wondering why this is not going through, and I realized it's not coloring like on top of it. Or below it. Oh no. No, it's okay. Still work till near the end of the month and not every day yet since it's still cold. Ah, I see, I see. It makes, it makes sense. Nice though. Are you excited though? Are you excited? I'll be pretty excited. Oh, let's see. This one actually. Oh yeah, this is this one. I haven't touched check in over a week as well. I've been on the... What's that? HI3 grind? What's that? Holland isn't attached to me. <laughs> I didn't know about the Tekken character until I tried to Google you and Google was unhelpful. I'm sorry. Is that my Tekken character, by the way? The people in the Street Fighter community will actually eat you up. If for disgracing the name Jury Han. I really wanted to, um... To, what, what, what happened here? Did I put this here? I don't remember this. What the heck? I guess I did, huh? Mm. I mean, I was just spitballing. It wasn't all serious advice. Blue Horizon is equally unsearchable even without Gura. Ah, uh, really? No, no, no. Give it some time, Jo- Um, oh, sorry. Let me say Joe Bob. Give it some time, Blue Horizon. I find that social media will find you once you put out like at least a hundred content. Speaking from experience, by the way. Or maybe because search on YouTube is based on interest and stuff. Because right right now, for me at least, I, I don't think... I don't think I'm difficult to find. I have so much content under this name that now I'm not that unsearchable. But maybe people who, who are trying to find um, the actual journey home might have trouble. Because <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not famous now, right guys? <laughs> I'm ready to dig around dirt again, yes, and welcoming mosquitoes. You really like the outdoors, Tao. I couldn't do it. Everything I do is indoors, even my usual job. Alright, hi Vivid. I read... I heard Honkai. Was there Honkai in here? Did we mention Honkai at all? We mentioned Genshin. Oh wait, Honkai Impact Dirt. Loki, the best Hoyo game. Damn. You know, I was gonna say, Hoyo actually released a Otoma game called Tears or Themis or something. I didn't know that they released like a game marketed towards female like that. But I can't bring myself to play it because I'm playing one right now. I could not. It could not be me. I would never ever pay for for a game 
of of for of, of hot guys and stuff. Okay, I'm I'm a bit more respectable than that. I have standards. Akuma from Tekken is coming Street Fighter though, so there's a link. <laughs> yeah. That is true, he is coming to Tekken. Wait. I mean, he's coming to Street Fighter. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Just put the channel for Blue Horizon. You set Blue? Ah, uh, Blue already does that though. <laughs> Blue's already head of the game for, for everything. That's the thing though. Well, I kind of just... I kind of just ignored this part, didn't I? I guess I did. I'm gonna scribble this in because I can just add in the light later on and it looks okay. My hair isn't even that long, is it? No, my hair is about like... Why am I making this long? Well, consider artistic interpretation or something. Yeah, most people don't search channel, sadly. My friends are like, I probably can't find you. Oh, well, I'll stick with it. Oh, is your handle on YouTube actually at Blue Horizon or is it at Blue Horizon channel? Here's kind of old. I never got into it though. I am late to the party. Now it's about love and deep space. I love that I can talk about love and deep space. So you guys know what I'm talking about. If I talk about like, um, Okay, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but loving these face. Okay, common ground, awesome. Common ground detected. Common ground detected. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm nowhere close to it though. I'm literally in chapter ten. And I can't make any progress because I spent all day doing weekly stuff. Oh my god. That's crazy. You actually chose to play Honkai Impact instead of Honkai Star Rail. Not that it's like any different from each other. Maybe it is actually very different, but both are good games. Both are good gotcha games. I wish you would click into people's channel from YouTube chat. Yeah, I want something like that too. I kind of understand it from like a safety reason why they don't do that. But for the most part, you know, I even I am pretty curious too. No, I think I get the access to that, but maybe other people don't. It's a channel... Channel, um, hosting this entire live stream in the first place. I wish I could click to reply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but you know, what's a really nice update recently, guys? Um... YouTube did release a really nice theater mode. Or I never noticed it, but recently, um... YouTube pushed me onto a theater mode by accident, I think. And then when I was watching someone's live stream, I was like, damn, this is like the best way to view live streams. I was like, when was this ever implemented? Now I'm starting to watch live streams in theater mode because it just looks so good with a chat next to it. Perfect ratio of chat to... Uh... Chat to screen ratio. In, in my humble opinion, it is. Especially in this marker. Why am I struggling with the marker choosing? Yeah, there we go. Now it's coming a lot easier. Well, you're right, new theater mode. Yes, I am right. I thought I was tripping because I never ever used theater mode before, and then it pushed me into it. Looks like Twitch not the old theater mode was ass. Yes! Oh man, the, the rollouts for these changes on the YouTube setting is so, so, so slow, I feel like. Much slower compared to, say, on Twitch. But that makes sense, though, because YouTube is juggling three things. It just happens that streaming is the middle child that they kind of neglect a little bit. Star Wars is very different. Clone kind packs easier for my monkey action brain. Is it? Very different part two to the other, just as star real <laughs> impact. There's some parallels between the two, but it's more like a alternate universe, I probably. I'm surprised you decided to go for impact though, because not a lot of people talk about it.
It used to be all screen, no chat. Yeah, it was used it used to not count for chat to the theater mode. I probably still play Star Rail, but I don't know if I'm gonna invest a lot of time into Genshin anymore, which is kinda sad. Well, we all come to terms with Genshin like that. Genshin is nice as like a first time Mihoyo game, but afterwards, you know, you start to feel the, the growing pains. Oh, I thought the internet would just enlarge the video and push this chat out inconveniently. That's if you pop out chat probably, but this one now kind of puts them together. I feel weird now because I'm, now I'm on people's screen a little bit larger than it normally is. Give me out! Make me small again! Don't make me too big. I don't want you to see my, my, my brush strokes or anything. <laughs> don't look at me! Don't look at me! I will... I'll cry. From the... Too, from the... Too much exposure. Be back in the darkness. Don't put me in the sunlight. Pull me back! Oh. Oh, I never used it, so I didn't know it was different. I never used it too. They just... It's funny because I was actually watching Joe Bob stream and... Well, one is VODs and it pushed me into it. I must have accidentally clicked on it because I don't know how Drowse they're going to push an advertised theater mode to other people. Hi, KO. Ooh, Drowse is really good for you. I'm for me and I need to sleep. Go to sleep, KO. You shouldn't be watching me. You're always here at a later time for you. More manageable time. When I stream, wait, it's 4 a.m. for you. Oh, I see, I see. So exactly 12 hours. Damn. The best time for you to watch me is at, at 6.30 or something a.m. That's tough. I only used it when I have YouTube consolidated in half of my screen, in case of screen. I played Genshin for an hour and got bored. I wish I was into one of the big gotchas. Oh, man. I, I think that um, for Genshin, you kind of have to be a different kind of person to play. To really enjoy it. Because when I was playing it, I was enamored with the interactivity of things. When I when I cut down a tree, I'm getting wood. When I climb that tree, I'm climbing that tree. <laughs> when I look at the environment, it's beautiful. I think you have to be slow-paced boomer brain to, to really play Genshin. If you're just too zoomer, it might not be the same. It might not be the same, and that's okay. Oh god, I don't think I have like a gray color picked out. I don't have a gray color picked up, that's okay, because we're just gonna make up a gray. Oh, I should probably draw the highlight, I kind of forgot about that entirely. Just, just scribble it in. I think the biggest issue with Genshin is the clear neglect that appears when you compare the quality of life the star really gets, and Genshin doesn't. Yeah, it's 100% true. I felt that a lot when I was playing Hong Kong Star Rail. I realized that the Honkai franchise is something they actually dearly want to bring up to popularity and make it really, really fun for people. But the dev team on Genshin are just like slacking in a lot of quality of life changes. I don't even know if Genshin ever got them, to be honest. It was so popular, they didn't know like what to upgrade and stuff. Chat lagging on, from your PC again, time to head on the phone. Okay, no worries. Today, people are, are, are uh, well behaved, I think. I think. Don't don't quote me on that. <laughs> don't quote me on that. They will turn on me the moment I say something nice. I don't know why Genshin hates... Hoyo hates Genshin so much. It's the most interesting gameplay for sure, but there's so much crap that you don't care about. Uh, man, I hope for like Genshin 2.0 where they fix all these sort of issues with it. I would definitely go back. Honestly, I would go back to Honkai Star Rail, but I kind of got burnt by the bad storytelling in the second world that they had. After that, you know, Pina Coney looks really fun, but I don't think I can ever bring myself to play it again. The unfortunate truth about these things. Wait, hold on. Mm, what do you mean, don't look at you? This is exactly how big it was in your past streams. No, now it's an art stream. It's different. <laughs> it's art stream. It's different now. 
I don't want you to see my brush strokes and messiness. Honkai is the Golden Art Child. Star Rail and Zizi are the Zoomer, Zoomer Children. Tears is who? Tears is for the girls. You won't understand. You actually had to have a girlfriend be handed to you instead of go searching for your own, huh? Huh? You understand it. She would, though. She would. Well, cut down the tree gets cut down. Reasoning could be applied to Fortnite too, though. Okay, but Joe Bob, can you water a tree? Can you splash water? Can you burn that tree? You probably can't. You probably can't. Is it right? Art streams are interesting. <laughs> I've, I've been kind of debating about doing art stream for the longest time because for me, it's very difficult to maintain both the quality of art and also the art stream attached to it too. But if you find it interesting, then you know maybe we'll experiment with, experiment with some more. Mother sleep on act chaos. No, because Genshin has a different producer director than the Honkai games and the shows. It shows. I think they low key do care about it. They just don't know how to go about it as 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 they have been going about it for the past couple of years. Uh, in. I think I have to like uh curl this one maybe. I do have ears, guys, by the way. You know, I, I do have ears. It's just covered by my hair. Can you see it even? Maybe you can't see it, but I do have ears. Hard to see. It peeks out every now and then in the back of my head. <laughs> Live YouTube stream tend to stutter for me, but for another streamer. It was bad that I switched to Chrome Power Base pa browser to patch it, but here is fine somehow. I think it's because I have um low latency turned on, not ultra low. Ultra low latency is a bit of a bait for new streamers who don't know about it. You know, you can tell your tell your streamer about it. I, I think that a lot of streamers, if they're willing to be open about it, are are willing to hear you out on how things are for them. I was I was on top of things back then, you know? When I first started streaming, I always asked people, Yo, is the stream quality okay? Is the CGI okay? And you guys would tell me, but you wouldn't tell me unless I asked. But these information is really helpful for, for streamers to know. For real, for real. Hmm. Also, Zizi, I'll never believe that game will actually ever actually be real. What is these? Oh, Zen Zen Zero, Zen Zero. What is it? Zen Zero Zero is. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. I know what you're talking about though. Why is it? Why am I being attacked? It's not my fault. Tears is not popular like the other pretty boy games. Actually, Tears is pretty pretty popular in my opinion. It's just now, right now, it's love and deep space with the casuals. Jerry is has always been real. It's just that I hide it. I hide it because it sticks out a little bit too much for me at least. You got a reason to make short hair version of your model? I was, I was thinking about this, right? In a hypothetical situation, if I do like a 2.0, should I... Uh, should I like... um Go short or should I go like super super long? I think it'd be fun to do like a... Like super short ones, you know. When lines here are not as uh, clean because I use a marker brush, which is kind of understandable why I did that. Everything's painting now. I, I have no line art to guide me, just for free freedom here. Honestly though, my preference of action gameplay the best but about Honkai was part 1 story. The fact that part 2 will have a new character makes me scared to keep playing. I want Honkai to be perfect of my mind. You gotta have the growing pains. It's the, it's the rite of passage for all games at some point. It's cool that our casual gamer is just wholesome. <laughs> Competitive people can get toxic. I think that's how it is with a lot of um casual games like Genshin. There's a place for people who play stuff like uh stardew and 
and was it animal crossing maybe but then you have that sort of community backing it too oh god i gotta go back to dark color zen zero zen the zone zen zone zero he's easy he's, he's hard streamer has a professional answer no one else is complaining so i assume it's just a laptop thermal yeah, that's true, I guess. It's kind of hard to actually just tell people, hey, your your laptop or your stream setting might be throttling your, your stream viewing experience. I get that. I get that. I, I see why. Do I want this cover? I guess I could. I hear I thought the white hair was your ear bunny ears? No, I don't have bunny ears. I'm very, very 100% human in my earthly form. If you want to see me in my other form, you won't ever see it, probably. Depending on what I decide with. Probably the first time I've seen a drawing with that jacket. I do have- I can take off the jacket. I just choose not to because I'm always cold. You're telling me you're a fake bunny? No, I'm a real bunny. I'm a moon bunny. Moon bunnies don't show themselves like I do. It's my white hair be, be showing through somehow in <laughs> these parts. I actually gotta start shading this part too. I have not been doing that, huh? Uh, B... B2 would be like having macros for short... For a tied up long hair, hoodies... Oh my god, stop, stop. Because the only person who, who's doing that is me. I'm the artist in the rigor of all things. I, I can't I can't be putting too many things or else I have to take time away from the actual focus which is streaming. They're competitive Genshin players, the grinders. Oh, they're gonna they're competing to see who can spend the most amount of money to get their E6 faster. Well, don't worry about them. They're gonna put you to, to shame you compare yourself i'm gonna put the um the shading here too oh i'm spilling the color in other places but that's the beauty of it it looks fine <laughs> it looks fine maybe 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 oh that's too dark It's a matter of time for the moon feds cut up with me. They got you. You have, you know too much. You know too much that even I haven't uncovered with this with this chat about. Uh. Oh man, I, I really do like painting. I don't think I could do line art as much because I'm not the best at it. It takes too long in my head, so I'm just too patient. Just to just, just cover it up. Just cover it up, my pet. I mean, they aren't as toxic as League or Dota players. Oh man, I love competitive games, but goddamn, are they really, really toxic? I get it though, you know, you want to win and losing does not feel good, but goddamn, does it hurt to be on the receiving end or whatever, dealing with it. I'm trying to think if I wanted like uh oh you know what I gotta do the pink part here playing pro on pity rolls <laughs> I cannot watch Honkai or Genshin stream it's hard for me unless they're rolling then yeah I'll watch it but for the most part if people are just doing their dailies and stuff it's hard for me to be engaged with the content with it I will put them in the background to support them but it, it's difficult you have to be really charismatic to make it look good i think or make it enjoyable for me your line art is great don't let anyone tell you not i'm cheating though i'm adding the line art at the end it's different <laughs> it's different <laughs> it's not the same as those who, who meticulously do it first and then they paint in you know honkai impact isn't toxic it's a perfect game damn you're on the honkai is perfect game kind of thing there's just so many games right now. Uh, it's too much. Why did the companies all have to release good games at this uh, at this uh at this stage? You know. Why did it have to be that way? I just wanted to have my one good game per year or one good game per month ordeal, but they're being shoved in 
at the same time it's, it's tough being gamer it's an expensive hobby too but i don't think people really talk about it but it's a perception that maybe gamers are are like broke or something because they're always eating dorito chips and drinking mountain dew but man games these days expensive as heck i almost encourage privacy wait what no i don't i don't encourage piracy Lucky maybe, but I don't encourage piracy unless you have a really good reason to. I think I actually gotta cover this up. Gotta cover this up. I say H I three has some loud bad apples. Don't worry about it. I don't even really notice it. It does suck to be on receiving end of toxicity when you can't think of a comeback. Yeah, then you think of the perfect one that night in bed. I never think about that. I just mute and move on. But like, I'm just trying to enjoy my my random Tuesday afternoon trying to play League of Legends. Well, I say that, but I haven't actually encountered like toxicity in a game in a long time. I know that's like super out of norm, but I I really can't. <laughs> I might call it me once in a blue moon, but it's not like that that apparent in the game for me. Maybe because I've been playing for so long, I've been cute with people who've been playing for a long time too. Maybe that's what it is. Trash talking back when you're the problem on the team is one of the greatest things of all time. No, I could not. I could not. Oh, you know what's interesting? Recently, when I was playing Helldivers by myself, I was in like a call. Or I wasn't in a call, you know, they have voice chat in the game. You know, Helldivers is a very cooperative game. It's not a competitive game by any means. And I don't ever use voice chat because I don't want to ruin the bro vibes the game got going on when I play it. And in the call was this squeaky little kid telling us how, like, oh, let's go this way. And there's like this one deep voice dude with the like, kids or something going like, yeah, we can decide to go here and then we can go over here afterward. It was so weird because I never played a game where the age gap was really big on the spectrum like that. Most games I play are people around the same age group, but Helldiver is such a good game that people from all ages are playing and that's the first time I experienced such a large age gap in the call. Um... Some people just intentionally be toxic like Tyler1. They can be competitive and not be a pee, -pee head. <laughs> Tyler1 cleaned up a lot since the years he got banned. It's kind of crazy because... I don't think Riot ever unbanned someone for a toxicity like that. But then it kind of became a meme of some sort. I don't know how he did it. He had the charisma of like a god or something to make to make Riot not ban him after that that whole phase of his. To be fair, to be fair, some parts but not his fault. <laughs> his team generally do be drawing when they see his name in the in the game too. Sorry for bad words. Oh, you're so you're so nice, Ko. That's like very very mild compared to some of the words that I say in, in the chat. It's inexpensive, especially for a stream, because story gives you character you need to play in the moment. Uh, I don't really, I don't really think about stuff like price like that, because you know a lot of games are free to play. Now it's good for coming to see how much money they lost. Mm. I'm so confused. Same look and beauty, that's all I need to spend $100 on. What the? You spent $100 on the game? No, I can't. That's too much un unresponsible financial decision I could ever hear from someone. I think the biggest red flag for me is someone just drops $100 on Genshin. I don't think I could live with myself if I'm dating someone who does something like that. That would actually financially ruin my brain. I could never. Helldiver has the wide appeal. It really does. I really like that. But man, I wanna... I wanna hear a girl in mic. I wanna feel like I'm not alone, you know? I wanna hear... <laughs> someone who's female on the mic. I hear a lot in, in, in Valorant and stuff, but... Oh, god damn. I do not hear it in, in Helldivers at all. It makes sense. I'm also the same way. I could not bring myself to speak into the mic. Trash talking the other team on behalf of a teammate despite being 514. <laughs> you know what it's like? It's like, why'd you talk to my big bro like that? He did fine. 
<laughs> Trying to shock you on behalf of your team is trying to speak on behalf of your older brother or something for something he did. Uh, that's just that's just funny to me. Hundred dollar was nothing when I was working. I don't care. You wish you had a hundred dollar right now, don't you? Don't you? Where is the oh yeah the jacket itself? Actually, oh I didn't cup. I didn't. Uh, oh my god! I didn't catch the color of the jacket, huh? All right, stay quiet. Then on how much I drop on these three games so far. Okay, it's different when you have the physical game. Actually, no. If it's for a rolling character, then yeah, I think you should maybe be not so proud of it. Actually, especially don't like high ranker battling. Building low rankers and Mokdoms kind of turns me off playing the game. Man, it, it's so like... I used to play with a toxic friend back in high school or so ever. It always bothered me when they're toxic to a teammate. I, I'm not the receiving end, but I just feel bad for them, you know? They're just trying to learn your half on the game. They're not really trying to win this much. I spent at least four digits in Honkai Impact 30 alone. Is that so? Oh god, he spent enough to pay for one semester in college. Oh no. It begins. I don't think I spend like 1,000 in my hobbies yet. If it's a hobby, like drawing, then maybe I did. But that's because tablets are already at $500. But it pays off itself, you know, it's different. I love Dota, but it just makes the game unapproachable. Oh man, I, I can't really speak for Dota. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, bro. Well, sorry, Dota has treated you so unkindly. You're actually one of the few people I know who plays Dota now. I don't know that many people who play Dota. It's might even less on, uh, even less common than Dota itself. Actually, I put very plenty of money. Thank you very much. I literally buy nothing. Well, I'm sure you do. I just can't fathom. For me, at least, I'm very frugal about these things. I have like a budget set aside. I couldn't. Even for me, I really, really like. I don't think I could. Maybe for a pretty weird basis, maybe. $100 in gacha kind of better than an expensive handbag. The handbag itself is very functional. It's also waterproof, too, so I feel like I got my money's worth. It's also physical, you know. Wait, but I do have $100. Should I head over to the Blue Archive and support small indie company next on right this moment? <laughs> Whatever you want, whatever brings you happiness. Don't let some VTuber in the corner internet judge your spending habits. Go free. I probably have unsightly... Unsightly purchases on my own. Yeah, being called by a friend that is a toxic one for no reason is so awkward. Got actual secondhand embarrassment that you're yelling to cashier at McDonald's or something? <laughs> you're so funny. I don't know how to... Oh, I, I can't just tell them to be not toxic, you know? That's gonna make them even more toxic, kind of thing. Four digit, one semester where? Stay school be almost 7k, it's almost five digits already? What? No. What are you talking about? Four digits? Four digits per semester is the price norm, though. Maybe because I had a different, maybe. Because mine never hit, like, five digit zone for my schooling. I live in the Philippines, Dota is big here. Okay, that makes a lot of sense then. That makes a lot of sense. I think Dota has an audience in the US, but I have no idea because I don't follow the scene as much. The other person who I know plays Dota is someone from like Scotland or something. <laughs> Never have I met an English speaker from the US playing Dota. So pointless when CC is free. Okay, Vivid. Uh, time went on. It's 50 50. Dota and League now? Oh, I feel like League kind of has like nice quality life change that Dota doesn't have. But some things are just more core to the gameplay for Dota. Thank you. I will be free, Dota love. Oh, more Dota fans? Damn. The only way I would play Dota is if they have a really cool character that I really wanted to play. For League, they already have this thing where they build the character off of the aesthetic they want. It appeals to that sort of audience. So, I feel like... <laughs> unless Dota does the same thing, I could probably be sucked in there. Uh, 
Spell winning gun will wait friend them toxic buzz that it's not a bad at the game though that's the thing toxic friends aren't necessarily not good players either Tyler one's like a rare exception where they have like <laughs> the right to be mad if i played a moba it'd be dota i got 500 in it but i gave up all mobas oh you know someone made a tweet about how um they feel like riot games has too much monopoly on a, on the um moba genre and it's kind of true in a way but i don't know how else you try, try to compete in that kind of sphere there's actually a new game coming out for a, a moba that's made by x riot employees but i have no idea how it is or what it's like yet i'm gonna stuck here i got the face done that's all that matters isn't it <laughs> i don't know what dota is it's the defense of the angels don't you know dota was released many many years ago it used to be its own game mode in a separate game and then that separate game mode became league of legends so i'm like yo let's let's copy this sort of mobile game style and make it our own game engine 500 i don't really want to talk about how many hours i spent in league to be fair it's not as scary when you think about how i i play league in, in in high school and stuff and then that kind of transferred over to college years Oh, too many hours could have been spent towards like self-improvement or something. Ah, oh, but I don't really I don't really regret it though. I've had so many good friends do their league. It's a common game, so it makes for such a good uh friend friend conversation starter at, at college. Dota characters when you make them to be the entire characters is a mechanic in game. If there are Dota and NA players, it kinda makes me feel bad because this is popular in the region, at least in my country it's quite popular. Whatever you can do to play with people in your region, I think is what matters. Doesn't matter if it's in the US or not. Oh my god, I don't know where my sketch layer is. Everything's just painted on top of. It's it's over. Where did I put the where did I put the sketch? Oh, that's the layer? Oh. Really? No. No, it's not. Hold up. Oh, I guess it is, huh? <laughs> is that what Dota stands for? I never knew. Oh man, I knew that information because I used to watch a lot of League videos. Like I watch content creators give me the history of why League is the way it is. That's the first time I've ever done for that for a game. And that's how I knew that Dota stood for Defense of the Angels. Dota's an acronym? I didn't know that was real. <laughs> you guys really didn't know. Oh, sorry, the Defense of the Ancients. Did I mean that's the Angels? Sorry, I'm wrong English word. Defense of the Ancient from Warcraft 3. Wrong well, way. One day people are gonna be like, well, stands for League of Legends. At least for League of Legends, you know, they, it's not too long where people don't um give it a different name. So that's good. Oh, but you know. Um I was gonna say. Uh, oh, they're Project L. You guys know what Project L is? It is Riot Games' newest fighting game that they advertise. Oh my god, they released the new name for it called Project L, which is a placeholder name. People are excited, people are making guesses, and once it actually dropped, people are like, Ew, what the heck is this? Is this a uh, steaming pile of poo? They renamed their game Project L, which is a really cool name, by the way, into. Um, what they call it? They called it 2XKO. Oh my god, that was the worst decision ever. I know why they did that because their core gameplay mechanic is based on the idea that you can play co op with a friend and basically have a co op fighting game together. But god damn, does this name suck? This name sucks. They're probably trying to reach the top of the directory, you know, when you sort by alphabetical stuff. But, eh. I'm gonna keep calling it Project L until 2XKO warms up to me in a bit. If they lost the game, are they really your friend? Yeah, they're still your friends no matter what. The yeah, Spence of the Angels is an acronym, guys. <laughs> maybe our age is showing, or maybe we're just... We have too much knowledge on this sort of random stuff. 
Uh, Jerry, you're a high ranker in League, aren't you? I used to be. I used to be Platinum. That was it, though. I knew that I wanted to get into Diamond. It would be really, really sweaty. But I was happy just being Plat. 2x KO. Not gonna lie, Dota shouldn't trash League. If it weren't for League, it probably wouldn't be Dota 2. People still play Warcraft mod. Oh, you're so reasonable for a Dota fan. There's so much Dota versus League content back in the day. That you're probably one of the few who has a reasonable don't crash league it's its own different game <laughs> it's like it's like trashing one platformer because your platformer is better there's so many platformer games nowadays too i put everything league related but that new name is indeed an l project name man i love the idea of project l but goddamn the name the name sucks i don't know what to do with it I'm just scribbling the hair because I don't really know how I'm gonna do anything with the hair either. <laughs> Maybe I'll just toss it in here. I don't know. That's just how it is when it comes to drawing me. I don't plan these things out unless it's like a very serious project. And yes, I will. Plat gang. I was like the lowest of plat though because plat 5 is where most people stop and I know why. I see why. That toxicity is off the roof chart. People are just AFK games. I'm just there chilling like, you know, I'm just have fun. I'm, I'm here after school. I'm not trying to win any games per se. I'm just trying to sp spend time, time, some downtime before I do homework. It's like saying you're going to keep saying Twitter until X warm up to you. X will never warm up to anyone. I don't know. Maybe it might change. It might change. Who knows? Maybe they have an announcer for their new game that says their name in a really cool way. That's a possibility. Right? I mean, um... But do they, they say Tekken. Well, actually, no. What did they say in Tekken? They say... Uh... <laughs> what? Get ready for the next battle. No, that's not what it is. No, it is that one. Yeah, yeah. That's, you know, they have a catchy phrase in, in these fighting games, they, they say. Maybe they'll do that with 2XKO somehow. Maybe. I wouldn't know. Oh, Dota was built off a mod. I wish I could uninstall League. Okay, so here's the history lesson with League of Legends. Um, in uh, Dota, there there are ways for you to mod. Actually, no. It was a World of Warcraft engine, wasn't it? World of Warcraft is where you, you could play what's called Dota. It's really popular. It wasn't like its own set of game. It was like it's inside another game, basically. That guy was like, yo, we're gonna take Dota, but then remove a lot of these core mechanics, like turn turning and stuff. And so that became what it is today. King of the Iron Fist Tor Okay, that that's what they do, but they don't say Tekken never. And I don't think any of the characters ever say Tekken. <laughs> it's never name dropping the the name of the title. Yeah, Dota was a mod of Warcraft 3. Oh man, I used to show footage of this and I would watch it because I'm like trying to learn like my the history of the game I really like. God dang. <laughs> it was so long ago. Oh, I accidentally pressed the bar at the bottom. Hold up. I can do this back. Two times KO? No, it's 2x KO. It's exactly the way it looks. Fish. Also, what call? What call? call? My friend was plat 1 diamond 4 highest, and I was gold 1 plat 5 highest amount. I went from bronze to plat. That was like a journey and a half. I wasn't bad per se, but the rank environment really gets to me sometimes. It was really serious whenever I played with, um, you know, the, the high school friend I did. High schoolers are, are, are mean a little bit when you're trying to play and learn the game. They'd be kind of mean for no reason, except to, to just be mean. Wait, do I have... No, I have the thing here on the sleeve. Get ready for the next battle. Be League Silver for two years like me? I can't really say that because I actually kind of enjoy going back to the League every now and then. Right now though, it's been kind of clean. Because... Um, I don't know, I, I just have so many other good games. I play League when there's no games lined up, but this year has been kind of bangers back to back. The... Oh god, this sleeve like this. Yes. 
Warcraft, not World Warcraft. Okay, you know yourself better, Fish. I'm getting misinformation spreading you right here. Everyone listen to Fish about the history of League and how it came to be, along with Dota and Warcraft. It's even there when I fresh install Windows. <laughs> it's a virus. But the, um, the what's it called? The Valorant? No. They have their own anti-cheat system, right? My high school with Dota was wholesome, that's why I stuck with it. I remember playing League of Legends for the first time with my childhood friend as well. She had a rough time trying to adjust to it. I kind of did okay because I had some experience. This is going to sound weird, but my first ever mobile game was actually Heroes of the Storm. <laughs> I, my, my older cousin, you know, they don't really play League of Legends, but they're like, yeah, you should play Heroes of the Storm with me and stuff. So I played with them. That was a very interesting game, I'll tell you, because they, they have stuff like, oh, you don't need to, you just kill camps and they'll charge at the base for you. So these, there are these like rules and stuff that I was not familiar with. League had way harder rules. I think that Hero Storm is like the f best baby's first fighting, um, baby's first MOBA game to ever grace the scene. But the problem is that it's kind of abandoned right now. It's hard to find any matchmaking in that game. There's probably no creators in that um, uh, area either. Oh god, how do I do this one? I think I gotta do it like this. Is it gonna be? Probably. I don't remember sleeping like this, so I gotta move it up. Move it up. High schoolers can be mean, but high school really high skills are really mean. Oh, tell me about it. They think they're the they center of the universe? Bro, you just- you barely started the tutorial stage of your life. Warcraft 3 is top down RTS and WoW is the MMO. Oh, <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. RTS probably is, this is also a genre of game that we probably could go into a conversation about. Vanguard? Yeah, Vanguard. Damn, here is a storm. I forgot that it existed, but my friend used to play it a ton. I like it too. It's very simple. But then... The most fun of a game is when you first start it, when the game was like first announced, right? When the game has been out for a while, medals are gonna be forming, people are gonna be playing for sweaty wins and stuff. That's when it became unfun to me, I think. And I just uh basically not played it anymore and stuck to League at that point. Oh, but League was his own sort of <laughs> it had its own set of issues too when I played it, but it's all good. I'm clean now, guys. I'm clean for now. Um, I could play in a bit. I don't know. I don't feel like playing it. I feel like playing hell divers and just shoot stuff. It's just fun to mindlessly shoot and stuff to be the Terminator. I played it when I was 12 though. Here's Storm was fun when I played it compared to League though. It feels laggy clunky. How would you play when you were 12? Because I played it when I was in high school. That's when it first came out. And you're older than me too. Oh, you're talking about Warcraft? Man, I'm reading these messages in the wrong order. Putting in a game picked up from Season 2, I couldn't drop it anymore. Oh, beta in the game, I see. RTS, I think it's especially my worst genre besides puzzles, but I won't deny how fun they are. Puzzles are your worst genres? I actually really enjoy puzzles, it's just that I can't cook when I'm on stream. <laughs> you can't bother me! I bought the solution when I'm on stream, guys. Okay, I just... I was just terrible at trying to think about conversation and also playing a game at the same time. Doing art while chatting though is a different matter since I've done it for a long while, but... It's hard, man. Maybe I'll, I'll bring it up sometime. Play some more puzzle games. Be the, be the change that I want to see. Be, be the change there. I remember having to play Hero Storm to get a skin in Overwatch, but it was kind of fun here and there. <laughs> what a crossover. Overwatch back then, you had to pay for the base game, right? I never really got into it because of that price point. Um, also because I was a broke high schooler too. Man, I wish Eternal Run had more normies. Low skill players so I can play it again. Eternal Run? What's that? Is that an RTS or something? It's always so much happier to start a game's life before it becomes senile and old. Senile and old. How do you think old? How old do you think League of Legends is? It's like 2009 or something was released, right? It's like what? Over 10 years now? Crazy. 
Games having that longevity is insane to me. <laughs> puzzles and yapping. I want to play some puzzle games. What's the one game that I really want to play? It was called... Escape from Simla. That one I want to play. But every time I see it, I'm always thinking, Oh, if this person is streaming it, I don't think I can play it. Mainly because you have to... Once you see the solution, you can't really play it for the first time ever again. Unless you somehow have a... Uh, forgetty beamer, you know? Jerry has a bad case of Twitch acting. Off stream, she's smarter. I can't believe our streamer is lying to us. I'm not even acting. I'm just generally dumb. I, how do I do this? How do people like prove to their Twitch chat or whatever or YouTube chat uh, that they're smarter than they actually are? I thought that people were acting dumb on stream, but now I understand why they act dumb on stream. Quote, quote, act dumb. It's because your brain is split in so many di different directions. You don't have a time to fully commit to one. And who wants to see like a smarty pants on stream, you know? I don't want to see smarty pants on stream. I want to see someone kind of like me, a little bit doofus. <laughs> a little bit of a doofus here and there. Eternal Return is a free MOBA battle royale game. Oh my god, there's so many. So many MOBA on mobile. But it makes sense though, because it's actually really popular in uh, countries where mobile games are more of a thing than PC games. Oops, I accidentally erased something there. I gotta, I gotta check the time on myself because I also. Eh, okay, wait. No, it's not that bad. We're good on time. We're good on time. I'll probably wrap up stream in about 20 minutes, so we'll just hang tight until then. Do games with longevity, you mean Skyrim? <laughs> Skyrim is going through its phase, right? People have been modding Skyrim till, since like the, the dawn of its first release. It's actually really fun when you can find a lobby and not get cute people who have 10k hours in the game. Aw, oh, man. Isn't that a lot? Isn't that how it is with a lot of games, though? <laughs> I feel like the worst offender is Valorant, though. I think... No matter how many times I play Valorant, I'm always gonna be at a very low skill cap compared to people who've been playing, like, FPS since they could hold a controller. It's terrible, man. I just don't know what to do. Maybe FPS is not my genre. I don't feel like putting hours into it as well. I think, uh, wait. I shouldn't have done this properly. I don't think I have it. Ugh. hard because there's 543 champions oh man i don't it's true there's like there's like hundreds and hundreds of characters in that game i don't know how i learned it because i never thought about sitting down and reading a book about these characters i just learned it through playing i think that's the fastest way to learn anything in these kind of games six pages later i'm taking a small break from writing to recharge batteries doodle jerry looks great doodle jerry looks cute i actually need more faith in myself sometimes I'm stupid, I swear it's crazy. No, no, no. I can be smart. I can... You know who can vouch for me? My IRL friend. She can vouch for me. Um, because she grew up with me since, like, kindergarten. She'll tell you that I was smart in school. Not anymore, though, because I'm not in school. <laughs> but in terms of streaming stuff, it's been kind of hard, man. It's hard out here. The allegations are never being beaten because they're always going to be confirmed. Not sure. Karaoke is probably a mix of performance anxiety and intended personality. There's no performance anxiety, just pure entertainment personality and also... Um... You probably streamed before too, right? You, you definitely have done our streams. It's hard when you have to chat with the viewers and also have to like put out a good piece at the same time and also making sure you're using the right words for what you're about to say. I don't know about doofus, you're certainly eat that. No, I am definitely am a doofus. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> Here's... A lot of things I say in voice voice calls are really funny because I say what's on my mind and people can vouch for that. I'm not as funny in text chat though. In voice voice call when I'm bouncing off of someone, I just find like a, th a thread in the conversation and I just I just grab on it, just pull on it really hard and see what I can come out of it. And then the funny stuff happens. 
I want to be decent at FPS so bad, but I don't know if it's possible. I feel you on that. But I feel happy though, because now I have a comrade uh, in this kind of camp where we don't have experience in FPS, except for a little bit of Valorant here and there. FPS since they can hold a controller, sweats in Halo 2 when I was 5 years old. That's what I'm saying! See, that's... There's some things you do naturally as an FPS player that I had to learn on the spot as a 20 year old or something when I was playing Valorant for the first time. Everyone always come back to Skyrim in a year or bi-yearly cycles. Pretty and nostalgic and the soundtrack's one of the best in gaming. People are scared about Skyrim remakes or sequels to it. Honestly, how can you beat a good game? You just don't. You just have to make something different off of it. He stopped when people stopped buying it. Oh, it's pretty dry. Thank you. <laughs> it's like cooking, but it's like quickly taking way too long to cook. But that's kind of nature of uh, doing these kind of streams, huh? I I I'll only turn on the paper. Maybe the paper. Hold up. It's hard for me to see my color, so I have to turn on paper mode. The great paper bits. Oh. You're like, no, you can't do that. It's on the wrong layer. Sorry, I didn't mean to say probably stream before. I, I know you definitely streamed before, Vivid. Yes, you. Yes, you. The stereotype that Dota players are better is nonsense. Like, I don't find League easy at all. It's complicated to me, even though. I actually think that maybe... League might be easier than Dota. That's why a lot of people have this conception that Dota's are, Dota players are better than League players. I kind of inclined to agree. How can you be bad at a game when a game's already complicated? That's like saying you're a chess master, but you find checkers really hard. <laughs> like that kind of stuff, right? That's so funny to me. I don't know if funny either. You're just more down to earth and chill. Oh, Froggy. Wait until... Wait until it's like 3 a.m. and like my my brain leaves my head and then the funny stuff happens too sometimes there. Oh, let me move the mic. It's kind of rubbing against my my headphone wires. To be honest, I don't dislike most multiplayer games, the competitive ones at least. We need more co-op only games like Helldivers, the one I can't play because no Xbox release. I like that too. I love competitive games because to me, there's a drive and there's like a nice feeling of winning. But man, Helldivers makes me realize that games can be competitive or like fun and also be cooperative at the same time. But it's really hard to make a cooperative game because you did balance the game around four players, right? At least in Helldivers, as opposed to like a, a solo kind of thing. I grew up on Halos. I have hours in FPS theory. I'm just bad. But you went from controller to mouse and keyboard, right? So it's gonna be different. I'm just above horrible FPS. <laughs> That's the highest praise I can give myself. Above horrible? No, no, no. We just haven't given you the proper care and and like tutorial to it. Surely. Surely, surely. Uh oh, wait a minute. I need to back this out. Joe Bob grew up on the sticks. I can't imagine. Oh no, you know what? I lied when I said I never played FPS. Back in my day, I played on the PlayStation 1. It's not mine, it's my cousin. I was leeching off of him because I'm the only child. And he actually had. <laughs> this might be a funny Steam title. 007. Um, 007 Golden Eye or something. That was a really fun game. It was not really FPS per se, but it definitely was a shooter of sorts. Because you're basically just playing against like bots and stuff. I wanted to stream that kind of game. Eh? Darius AMR? Why is it Darius AMR? Ah. Oh. My music's still playing. You're making me a little subconscious a little here. Yeah, Golden Eye. Oh, I'm not, I'm not not on the N64. That's too old. I'm talking about like the PlayStation 1. Um, that was a really fun game. I want to play nostalgic games like that or play something like Sly. Was it Sly Raccoon or something? There's a lot of PS1 game I really want to do, but I don't know how to do that for, for stream. 
because i would quite literally have to buy the ps1 and maybe have a capture card somehow there try monster hunter oh monster hunter is kind of hard for me because you have to master a weapon it's good if you want to master one weapon and be really good and have the payoff there but it's hard to get into it <laughs> for me at least it is a good game though don't get me wrong on that it's weird, MOBA is one big game, other MOBA's game fighting support. It's a different game, so they can't assume Dota's or shouldn't belittle a game themselves toxic. You're so logical about it. Well, to be honest, um, it's, it's easy to want to compare a lot of games, but people don't realize that comparison doesn't really do anything for anyone. Just play the game you enjoy and just don't really trash the other one because people spend hard time, spend hard work and many hours uh, trying to develop the games itself. Hi, Ice Psycho. Wait, why are you apologizing? What? What? Nah, mouse and keyboards and heart is skill ceilings rise raised. <laughs> I see. That makes a lot of sense, though. Wait, better. I said ASMR because you're touching the mic. Oh, you want me to touch the mic some more? I tried listening to some ASMR recently because I wanted to learn how to make content like that. I could not get into like the the ear rubbing or mut the mic touching one. Cause it sounded like low quality headphones or something. It's kinda weird. I know some people are really into it though. Yeah, Sly Cooper! Yeah, Sly Cooper, that's what it was. Audiobook stream? Is it actually audiobook stream? No, it's not. I have BGM playing. Stop. Make me make me confused out here. PS1 N64 same era? To me it wasn't. I never saw an X N64 in my life. Sly Raccoon? You know what I was talking about though. I knew he had a really cool last name, but I couldn't bring it up. I knew he was a raccoon, so that's why I said that. Why is the PS1 and don't emulate it? <laughs> we use legal hardware around here. Rich Hunt, why do you say it like that? What? What do you mean? I'm being upright and noble about this. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh oh, wait a minute. Did I do... Oh, that's what it was. Okay. I would never encourage piracy on here. Hi, just checking in. Hi, Furina. Welcome, welcome. Checking in, checking in the art. Oh, I've been on this for a while now, to be honest. I should have been way, way past this point, but... Chat's been popping off, so I've been kind of not chatting. I should, though. I should. Kobo ASMR might be up more your alley. Why? What does Kobo do in her ASMR? Oh, recently, um... Ollie did the Beyblade ASMR. She wasn't the first to do it because someone else did it before her. But I thought it was funny that we just seeing a revival of the Beyblade ASMR stuff. Who doesn't like Beyblade? I can only imagine Kobo ASMR being cursed. It seems like she would probably blend an egg in a blender. And, and call that ASMR or something. <laughs> I had an N64 hand-me-down. I only played Smash 64 a lot. Zelda 64 scared me. But I was so... We only had so um cousin I was playing the PS1 off of, they had a lot of racing games. They were a car nerd, so I didn't get a lot of variety games like that. We just had like <laughs> a few of those things. This just in Summer Game Fest has been confirmed for June 7th. I don't know what that means. What does that mean, poor genius? You gotta explain it to me. I have no clue about ASMR, only watch one streamer who does it. I don't want it to be just making sounds that I'm like, you know, I want to make sure the person who's listening it is listening and feels relaxed. That's what I want, but I feel like I don't really quite understand the basis of it if I don't experience it and study it from other people first. No one has ever emulated a game in this community ever. Han Civil. Yeah, you know, you Yuzu, you should deserve being being copyrighted and striked by, by Nintendo for it. They should never have opened up a Discord server with their name and title attached to it. With the games and stuff in there? Oh, terrible people. Terrible. Emulation never. Spending, uh, speaking of skills, people spend hours practicing. I'm glad you're drawing more. Oh, vivid. 
I've actually been drawing, but it's only ever been used for functional stuff. Like recently, I finished drawing a model for a video. And right now, I'm trying to edit the stuff to, to make it publish and everything. Oh my god, I still draw. It's just that it's more for when there's a need of rises for it. It's hard for me to draw for fun. Because I, I like drawing, but I think the most enjoyment I get out of it is when it's functional. As weird as it sounds. Oof, Beebly is Mar makes me sad. He was my OG pink anime guy, my inspiration. I don't know what happened to him, but don't tell me. I don't know if it's good or bad. I'd just rather move away from me. Ah, too many fests, my monies. It's genius with the expansion pass, not the standard online. Summer Game Fest is the E3 replacement. Oh! Oh, okay, that makes sense. I don't know about these game game shows and stuff. I would like it. I would like to watch them with people, I think, but... I'm actually not much of a gamer. Every time these game events come up, I realize that, damn, I don't really... I don't really play these titles. <laughs> or I'm not familiar with some of these sequels. But then in my friend chat, they're all like, Yo, this came out. I wish I could share the same excitement, but I really don't know what games are going to be posted there, too. Cobalt ASMR was one hour of intense ear cleaning. Do people like that, though? Like, having something shoved up in your ear like that? I asked that because I was a kid that shoved a Q-tip in my ear and that's why I had an ear infection later in my life. Not fun, not fun at all. I have generally never used an emulator. That's good for though, that's good. I guess. I don't know. I don't know if it's good or not, but maybe. Maybe it's good if you never used an emulator in life. It's always the first time for everything. I mean, what? You shouldn't, you shouldn't try it at all. Yes, in fact, Joe Bob was so staunchly against it, he went directly after a dastardly emulation company to have him shut down. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Man, it's funny because, like, before Yuzu was shut down, um, Joe Bob was talking about how emulation is bad as he was playing Catherine with very glitchy graphics. And I was like, damn, he's onto something. And then, it shut down, and I was like, oh man, he really is onto something, because he made the multi, multi-million dollar company shut down like that. Emulators are such a big part of my childhood, N64 and N SNES mostly. Man, you know, one thing about uh, emulators, even though it's always struck down by companies and stuff for having their profits be laid out, is that emulators preserve our memories of the game in ways that are playable in this day and age. I don't think I could ever really truly hate emulators for that reason. Because like, game preservation or media preservation in general is really difficult to get a hold of. In this day and age, with everything being digital and company just removing it. Removing it. I also don't know if it's a good or bad, so you're good. <laughs> I am, I am. Kobo did ASMR already? Did she just get the 3DO? 3DO? I mean, if you have it, might as well use it right away, right? <laughs> Why would you wait around to, to use such a thing? I also would have would have just used it. What are you waiting for? The, to have like a one week grace period where you can finally use it. So you don't jump scare people when you have it and then use it immediately. Right off the block. My Joe Tendo. <laughs> original. Joe Ten Bob. My name is Joe Nintendo Bob after all. That's right. That's right. Fear him. He will strike you down like he did for Yuzu. You know, I was surprised because I didn't know emulators made money at all. I knew they had like Patreon, maybe fan support. You ever think about that? You donation wares? Like when you have... Um, what's it called? Zip files and... was it? You know what I'm talking about? When you... You use Rinrar? They have a, hey, you know, this is a free program, but please donate to us. I always wonder how much they made. Then recently, I saw that Yuzu made 30,000 per month or something from their Patreon. Like, that is insane to think about. In comparison, their competitor is Citrus, I believe. And Citrus only made like 1k or something per month. But Yuzu making 30k? That's, that's wild. <laughs> that's wild to me. Ear cleaning is nice. Intense ear cleaning is nice. Niche? Intense ear cleaning is niche. 
No, not really more pleasant symbol stuff. I like ear cleaning ASMR. Don't like my ears being touched IRL though. That's what I think. You know what's funny? When I was researching ASMR stuff, I was actually thinking about how I always fall asleep to my hair being done in salons and stuff. I looked up like barbershop ASMR because I think that'd be fun, like first time ASMR. And then the moment they turned on the hair dryer, it felt like someone, something was blowing hot air down my neck and I felt really uncomfortable so I clicked out of it. But it was really cool though how the brain will trick you with certain things when it comes to ASMR. I will never mentally recover from that though when they do that. I, I kind of wanted to do it for other people because I think it would be really funny if you guys experience what I got to experience. <laughs> uh, um, hair brushing ASMR is what got me to ASMR. I got the- I gone down the deep end now. Oh, like the ear licking ones? I- I know what you are. I know what you are. I'm checking right now, lol, can't find it. How long ago did she do it? Yeah. Only Drowsy knows, apparently. Winrar makes more from selling licenses to companies who are legally forced to get a license and need to use it. That's why they can afford to give consumers an unlimited trial. Shout out to Winrar. What a good company. Not for profit, but just for- Trying to get people their the files to be compressed and everything. That's how it should be, but not how it's always gonna be. Uh oh, right. I don't think I'm actually gonna finish this um off stream though. I might just keep it like this, just for preservation sake, maybe. Last time I did an art stream, I said, oh yeah, I'm gonna finish this off stream and then post it. I never did that. I'm sorry for people who lied back then. I never did that because I realized that it looked like doo-doo when I got off stream. <laughs> My bad. That was unsightly of me to lie to you guys like that in one time. Lied to us. I did. It was a lie. Big old lie. cut noise are insane yes it is i think it'd be fun just blow down the hair dryer and everyone collectively feels the same hair dryer go down their neck i was on their case keeping on this um wait that's a playstation 2 boy i think emulation i gotta think emulation for actually allowing me to play my ps2 games today so my PS2 kind of busted at the moment, I don't want to put money into it right now. Companies are not going to be making these new... New game systems, I feel like, so... I'll, uh, eh... How else am I going to play Crash Bandicoot on the original PS1? <laughs> you know what's funny? Um, in my childhood, I played one Crash Bandicoot game. It was called Crash Bash. And as I got older, this friend I was talking to, I was like, Oh, you know, I played... Crash Bandicoot, and they ask, which one? And I said, Crash Bash, and they are like, you played the one Crash Bandicoot game that's akin to Mario Party. <laughs> that's akin to Mario Party. I was like, oh no, I didn't know. I thought it was like an official game they had going on. And it's true. I look back on actual Crash Bandicoot games, they would have like, uh, more or less a platformer of their own. <laughs> that way. Uh... Ah, uh, got to go, but have fun the rest of the team. Take care of Jerry's. Bye, Blue. I'm actually gonna wrap- Oh, wait, you're actually on time with your stuff. I actually gotta wrap it up around here. Is some my torture sounds? Is some my torture? What the heck? Art, art, artwork is good. So good, seriously. It's okay. I can do better. But right now, it's just for fun. Crash Bash with the goat. You played actual Crash Bash? Crash Bash games though? No, there's only one Crash Bash games. Crash Bandicoot main game that I had not played. I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud, you can call me out and... You found it? Yo, let me know how it sounds though. <laughs> intense ear cleaning, how does it sound? You know, I don't think I need intense ear cleaning ASMR because my friend does it all the time when he gets too close to the mic. You know, you have that one friend with a really low quality game mic. That was how it was back in the day. I don't think I really enjoyed that though. So I can't fathom 
I'm going to willingly subject myself to it. May I'll die for an hour or so and then get back to writing, I think. Oh, I'll take a break. Take a break. Whatever gets you back in the zone. Uh, I mean, I don't think I could probably put... Oh, I guess I could put in the skirt detailing, but uh, it'd be kind of difficult at the speed I am right now. It was fun, though. It was basically a satsadon with like a pretty picture going on in the background. <laughs> I don't know. These these streams are gonna be like a rare occurrence. I can't guarantee it'll be here all the time. Let me just render the knee suspiciously really good for no reason except to render it really nicely. Jerry, I linked it in your 3D channel. You wanna check it later? Ooh, will I play it now on stream with everyone? I might get popularized strike. Who knows? Wait, let me, let me listen to this. I'm scared. I'm scared to play this ASMR video right now. This is terrible! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, she screamed into it! Oh my god! This is anti-ASMR, bro. <laughs> this is anti-ASMR! She literally screamed into the mic in the middle of shoving whatever into the ear hole of the thing. Five for genius. I use multi-tap to play Crash Bash and Crash Team Racing with four people. Fun times. Yeah, yeah. It's a party game. It's a party game. It would be fun. I thought it was an actual game in the whole main line. <laughs> it was not. I okay, I will end stream roughly around here because oh, we're hitting the two and a half hour mark. So now's a good good time to end. Kobo's ASMR is anti-ASMR, just a heads up you plan to listen to it. Turn it really, really low. Even at low volume, you can kind of hear it screaming to your ear hole. At the very deep core. No. I need to render the knees at least or something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what's NG here? How far did we get? Oh, I, I used to like clean out my layers to show my progress, but I just combined everything today. So you just get this little goofy little Jerry here. If it's on standard mic, even if she took a jersey, it sounds pretty ass to be fair. <laughs> How do people sit through that though? I guess they mute it and they just chat normally in the in this chat. Is that how it works? Okay, uh that's it for today's stream. We will pick it up tomorrow with the game Sales Blazer. I'm very excited because the company reached out for me to play the game. So we'll see what it's all about. It's rated 9 out of 10 on stream. On Steam. So I wanna see what the hubbub is all about. Sucks <laughs> so catching live for the first time. Oh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, Lysergic, thank you, thank you. If this is your name at the beginning of the stream, it's nice to see you again at the end of it, too. Alright, you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.